my lords leave my lord to mention a matter my lord these are two connected appeals my lord judgment dated 26 june hmm. my lord i'm led by mr hari salve hmm. my lord i'm mentioning at his request my lord he's made a request only if it comments to my lord if it could be taken up on wednesday at 2 pm if it comments to my lord i appeal for the main respondent reserve bank of india all the lps the reserve bank of india hmm. it's a big it's matter i was india. i have some personal difficulty it could be taken up on next my, wednesday my lord it was already appearing on last wednesday yeah. it was not taken up my lord what to do uh, two days i was not there Malad, if it could be because there we have there severe repercussions on the appellant, Malad. The big matter is to be heard. But the point is very short, Malad. The point is very short. I am in some difficult personal difficulty. Yes. Where kindly take it up and next fix it the next Wednesday. In the interim, what, what do you propose to do? <laughs> That's the problem. Malad. If they are pressing for some interim orders, then. Uh, One so your lordship generally hears out. That's why I'm saying it takes some time. I'm in some difficulty because the Thursday whole day is there. So I, I may be in some difficulty. That's what I'm saying. Malad, Otherwise, I'll come. I, I have to. Malad, may I make a fair suggestion, my lord? Malad, if it could be taken up at Wednesday on two, my lord, if lordship sees that if it is a matter of that nature, my lord, which so, we'll have to wait for. What a is the subject? My lord, this is regarding my lord. Peerless uh, General Finance Company, my lord. RBI had given a direction. Hmm. All unclaimed deposits. What is to be done with that in respect of an NBFC? Malad, with respect to the maturity amount, with maturity interest, a direction was given that they be transferred to the Investor Protection Fund. Hmm. First question is whether the RBI Act prevails over the Companies Act. If yes, there is no question of such transfer. In any event, Malad, RBI gave us a direction that with respect to the maturity amount, you put it in an escrow account. The interest will be available to peerless. Hmm. Malad, this direction was given effect to peerless. Utilized this interest. RBI vetted the accounts because they are the market regulator. There after Malad, five years later, RBI comes and says, "I gave you a wrong direction. Now you have to give me that money. That is no direction at all. It is wholly without jurisdiction." Oh, so you, you challenge that decision in the writ petition. Lordship, there are two connected writ petitions. All right. During the pendency of the writ petition, you had some interim protection. Lordship, we had an interim order. Lordship, we had several interim orders which continued till the disposal. What was the effect of the interim order? Malad, the effect of the interim order was that no coercive step could be taken against us for not depositing that interest component and that. the central government which is the registrar of companies in this case could not insist on us to deposit the interest part which now has been set aside because the impugned uh, judgment my lord and that i have to deposit and it's a sum in excess of 500 crore my lord which is why the urgency my so lord then if they are pressing for see if you uh, seek for implementation of the order implementation actually government will speak this money belongs to the government rbi they are relying on certain instructions of rbi to uh, to take shelter and not pay the amount so if suppose you say that you will keep your hands off till next when central government has to say which not our money so, of bank money central so, government malad, they've been served malad the central yes, government have been served malad i'm carrying all the uh, the uh, notices which have been received also but wednesday will you be available in court i'll come i'll come i'll come i only so let it be listed on wednesday yes. Yes. Uh, pro properly, who appeared for the central government before the single bill? Lord, we'll serve again. We'll communicate it no, to them. Who appeared? Deputy. Malad, it was uh, one Mr. Singhania was appearing. Uh, Mr. Mr. N M Singhania, Malad. We'll we'll speak. Received. He's received it also. He's received. To inform him that uh, let him be Lord, present. Lord. Lord. Could it be at two p.m., Malad? If it comes to my lord. Two p.m. If it could be, Malad. Pastor. Ah yes, no problem. Second, grateful, my lord. Grateful, grateful, my lord. And what is this big ground for upgradation? May I, my kindness, leave me, lord, to mention a matter having serious impact on the majesty of court. That one gentleman who had organized, my lord, the postering. I specifically accuse, but but against a particular judge now has gone on record. Alleging that the High Court is giving protection to the anti-socials, and High Court has become the ground for the anti-social free movement and also it has said that all these killings are because of high court <laughs> now i wouldn't have moved this but i tell you lordship the reaction a, a, a professor of the national eminence he called me up saying unless you can stop this the majesty of court will be absolutely shattered and, and former advocate general of the state will also call me saying do something let the high court have his own honor and majesty let this sort of 
if I may use that expression, excuse me, mafia leaders cannot without control and shake the confidence of the common man on the high court. Well, I just place below these documents for Lord Chief's words. So much of cognizance. I, I am Since also Mallard, appearing on behalf of another informant, Millard. I have also produced. Since Millard, there is already. Un, Millard, he is okay. an ad, advocate of this honorable. Unscathing Millard, scandalous remark against the High Court will shock the conscience of the court. Shakko. Now, Millard, since the My Lord not sitting in. Sir, special bench, Millard, considering Millard almost a similar issue. No, I would appeal to your Lordship, Lord, kindly take cognizance and place it before their special bench. These two should be taken up together. And, and the same uh, person is involved. But uh, uh, can this uh, person who was sworn to this affidavit, can he file a petition? But if it is filed petition, then I have to like, come through the permission of through Advocate General, which we don't want. We want not court should take so, so much cognizance. That it was taken on the earlier matter. And he, this so I am placing the materials for information. But this person was cautioned before by a division bench. Same person. Similar kind of general remark, just it was a, last time it was a general remark. This right. time, entire high court with giving a particular and, and he is aware of the consequences. He says, actually, the larger bench was uh, constituted last, last Friday. No, no, no not last Friday. What is significant? We can do one thing because last week the uh, larger bench couldn't sit because of uh, some inconvenience. Lordship will take so much of cognizance and we will constitute the bench once more this week. And uh, you mentioned and that. No, 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 I can, no, I can, maybe she will kindly, let's say, proceed. My lord, you kindly take cognizance yes. and then place it before the larger bench for further hearing. No, 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 that was done in last occasion. Last occasion, without the single judge to confront the informant, file a petition. It has been cannot file a petition. Your lordship desires that petition will be only for the purpose of information. I have filed an affidavit, I can do that. But I have the law. If it is petition, then it has to come through the consent of advocate. But well, this is my informant, informant given another affidavit. I have given the entire transcript of what whatever has been spoken. No, no, well, no. The, this, no, this can be in the form of a petition in the contempt matters which are pending, placing on record certain facts which you are, want to want to well, now, with, with the leave of the court. Leave the leave the kindly will not grant me leave. To file without a petition so that I can do that, we can avoid without the process of having and consent of advocate general, yes. which will ultimately will not frustrate. Ultimately, if uh, criminal contempt has to be initiated, then the necessary directions have to be issued for the uh, advocate general. Uh, no, 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 that is the law. If someone, if someone wants to move a petition, then he has to take the permission of advocate general, unless the court takes so much cognizance. So what we have been doing so long that the court takes so much cognizance, as it was done in earlier case. The learned single judge took cognizance and then referred it to the chief justice for hearing and chief justice constituted a bench. The best thing is, you make a mention, we will constitute that uh, larger bench this week. On that date, you place this after. Very well. No problem. But, well, subject to what your lordship says, or not, your lordship's bench is the determination you place the for criminal contempt. We will it constitute that bench. We will place the affidavit today itself. We will ascertain the convenience of the other two honourable judges. Yeah, yeah, kindly just not give us leave unless we have leave is granted. No, no, no. We cannot affirm. What are the special bench constitutes? We cannot affirm it unless leave is granted. Before the special bench, whatever mention has been made today, you please mention. Very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. No. Thank you. The special bench should. The lordship is. He has dared. He has dared the court. To issue contempt, he says, I, I, he is very clear in his mind that of the, and he is aware of the consequences, and he says he dares the court to Malad, take cognizance and issue contempt. He will face it. We will see. On the earlier occasion, the man done the same. But you, I am seeking leave to move another petition. Lordship, a separate WPCRC number should be allotted to this kind. Please make a mention before the larger bench. This composition can't hear that much. The larger bench is sitting this way. We will constitute. Yes. Today itself, we will ascertain the convenience of the other two hundred. May I be permitted to mention and then see? leave to move this matter along with that election matter because you one lady for protesting the rigging in the booth was made to face 
the public harassment by putting his uh, her ear in public and sit and stand and that was that video was made available in public it right. has happened in diamond herbal lordship kindly yes. item number 48 my lord your lordship has been pleased to direct that there should be removal of encroachment Hmm. Um, 400 notices have been issued for removal of alleged encroachment. Hmm. We are for the alleged encroachers, my lord. My, lord, my humble submission before a lawship would be I have moved an application, kindly takes up, my lord. Otherwise, we will be out, my lord. Yes, where is that application? It is it is appearing, my lord. I have already filed, my lord. Page item 28 is the main read petition. I have filed a connected application here saying that there should be rather than removing this encroachment, alleged encroachment, there should be a plan which was. Basically, I, I, item 28 48, 48, 48. What is your can application number? My application number would be the Hello. last one. This is five, five. can five. All right. Please wait. Huh? We'll take it up. My Lord. Yes. Your Lordship, if I may, um, if if I may take the leave of this court to mention one matter, it is a very small matter, Your Lordship. The appeal has come from uh, order passed by 13th April from Justice Moshmi Bhattacharya's court. And this matter is on the settled law that the High Court does not have the power to invoke 226 uh, in matters pertaining to Sarfesi. And the matter was first listed on 3rd of May. And this bench was of the view that the relief sought for is not maintainable. But then the matter has been coming in, but all I want is... You want upgradation. upgradation. It's yes, a... Your Lordship. And it's a very small matter. And we are for... So all time. requests for upgradation, you please give the letters. Let us examine. Yes, Your Lordship. Uh, because... Have... Your Lordship, I had... Uh... Inclusion. Inclusion, upgradation. Please give the letters. Well, under very... File. The mind is different. Well, under very compelling circumstances, well, I'm mentioning this. Well, on 11th, there was a public interest litigation against a medical college. Well, I was appearing for the medical college. Allegation was there are some illegality in setting up. Hmm. Now I took the point of my lord, they don't have the credentials which they have suppressed. Lordship directed me to file an affidavit disclosing that. My lord, now this is the situation, matter is to come on 25th. Hmm. This is the medical college for the first time being set up with 150 my lord seats. Intake. Very next date, my lord, in terms of the honorable Supreme Court direction, now what should be the fee that I would be able to collect? There is a fee committee. My Lord, fee committee so on. Did it come on 20 no, may I see my everything because they have already published, my Lord, the seat matrix and all participation dates. Yes. So if the matter. There is no interim order. Why no, you... I know, my Lord. They were trying to, my Lord, pursue. Now they said it's a life of 150 students. Tomorrow, if the college is ultimately found to be illegally set up, then what will happen to the students? No. Now, all I'm praying is this, my Lord. Now, because um, I took the point of incredentials, I am saying. Can it be my tomorrow? Leaving aside the point. No, no, no. See, there is no interim order. But I know there is no interim. Ask them to establish their credentials. Yes. So you have raised a preliminary objection. True. We took note of it. Yes. So we can't advance the date. Let it come on twenty fifth. But that is there, true. There is no urgency at all. Why but are you trying to precipitate the problem? But only reason. But but only reason. Why are you apprehending something will happen? Then there is some skeleton in because the cupboard. Apprehension is this, my lord. They have not fixed my uh, fee. Because of that, then you, that is a separate direction. If suppose the uh, what is it, Medical Council of India or um, the commission has not done it, it's a separate only on the ground, only on the ground that the public interest litigation is pending. You then you challenge that communication, my lord. Because now, before your lordships, I won't be able to file a writ petition because there also this point may be taken. No, 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 well, I was only praying if my lord you can't it, advance the date, sir. Sorry, well, obliged. yes, sir. But I was there to say that. I will post that later. <laughs> no, uh, Neither is it. This is a matter appearing, one of the matter appearing in a lot of today. That is item number 97. 97. That is an application matter for recording of an order made by your hmm. But that application was my order. That application was That is not appearing. No, what is this application? This application is with regard to your lordship with kind of law. So it is with regard to a public interest rating. If you can just come this side, sir. Can you give, give, give the mic. I told you. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is what it is happened. It no, no, that, that, that is because of the zeal. So two, two days this bench was not there. There's a crowd. That's all. I belong to the old school. Yes. Item 97. This is a matter 
Well, it was a public interest litigation filed by one of the envir environmentalists mm. with regard to the protection of the Victoria Memorial Hall. Mm. And his claim was that this is because of the past stand at Esplanade East. Mm. Well, that pollution is actually destroying that monument. That was the application. But in that public interest litigation, it is the Registered General of my Lord made an application that the bus stand at Babu Ghat, mm. this is interstate bus stand, which is not at all a subject matter of that. The registrar wanted to just shun out her, her responsibility or the court's responsibility. Because the bar association wants a place to be given to them for the accommodation of their car. Very good. I also need a place. But how it is that, my lord, an application which I have made before your lordship pursuant to a leave given by the Supreme Court to be added as a party in that public interest petition because my interest was going to be affected, which is not the subject matter of the lease. And your application. And my lord, what is... happened, my lord, your lordship has referred only two applications, only two applications to a special bench, barring my those applications, the application no. for condonation. Application for no, the special bench is hearing the matter. You know, but the special bench, well, it has not been assigned. Only two applications have been assigned. Uh, Only two applications assigned, barring my application that has been dismissed without hearing. And which, which is the special bench? Is my not again? Justice from an Kodana. application Day before last Friday, the bench uh, sat because I read in the newspaper some direction was. Yes, yes, yes. It is my but my application to application added number? as a party. No, no. Uh, whatever is the please give the can application number. We will include it in that. Uh, my, 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 the bench, my lord, asked me, my lord, that it has to be assigned to us. Yes, we will do that. Kindly do please that. Please give lord. that letter. My lord. That's I'm praying for leave to. Uh, I'm deeply obliged. Yes, that's it. These two matters. Item Koto, item Koto, item Koto, item In item 97, the item number 21 is appearing. 22 is appearing. 22 and 21. Those two applications may be assigned to that main joiner. <laughs> that is the main matter is seven eight. It is being heard by this is uh, Basad. <clears throat> Sir, please take down. We have heard the learned advocates for the parties. The um, the red petition in WPA seven eight seven nine eight seven of two thousand two is being heard by a special bench. Uh, consisting of Honorable Justice Jabanku Basa and Honorable Justice Sampa Sarka. In the said petition, these applications have been filed. Um, namely, IA number CAN 21 of 2023, which is an application for condemnation of delay, and IA number CAN 22 of 2023, which is an application for recalling an order. Since the main matter is being heard by the Honorable Special Bench, these applications shall also be listed before the Honorable Special Bench after obtaining appropriate orders from the Honorable Chief Justice. Yes, sir, it will be done. Yes. Yes. The Special Bench is Justice Basak and Justice Sharkar. Yes, we have made them. Your Lordship, may I mention one matter, Your Lordship? 
your lordship uh, this is a matter of uh, controversial issue on film adi purush your lordship on the last occasion your lordship we have directed to uh, serve the notice to all the uh, res private respondents Very good. so we have served all the notice to the private respondent the letter it will be listed so yes, kindly fix the matter tomorrow for early hearing your lordship yes, yes. we will see you please give the letter i was mentioning my lord an application under section 10 hmm. of the contempt of court act my lord uh, hmm. for my lord contempt of order passed by the subordinate court hmm. your lordship have jurisdiction my lord i was praying yes, for yes. this thing we have got jurisdiction the court of first instance also has got jurisdiction the trial court that's also true. has got jurisdiction that's true but that's not for contempt my lord that is under uh, uh, order 39 rule 2a mm. that's a different my lord i shall be possibly be able to you give yes it's only thing is my lord there is some urgency because we, we will see and and my lord uh, Only other point, my lord. A member of the bar is involved, my lord. If uh, I do not want, my lord, uh, I I think I should bring this to the notice of the court. Hmm? We face this problem. This is concerning court. this uh, club. Yes, the high court club, is it? No, 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 no. Huh. Calcutta club. It's a different club altogether. Then uh, I think. Uh, Has to be transferred to Jharkhand. <laughs> best, best. <laughs> All of you will have a chance to go to Jharkhand. New building. Sahab. So uh, that's true. That's a <laughs> wonderful place. It's a little far, but building when it's being constructed. My lord, kindly, kindly, my lord, uh, put it before my lord any. And who who will be able to hear? If they are, they shouldn't be members. Past members, present members. This has to be for a DB. Copy on no one bench. Follow me. 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 जस्टिस My lord, your lordship, my lord, sitting with Justice Ajay Gupta, my lord, had heard a matter. Hmm. My lord, fixed the matter last Thursday at three thirty upon appreciating the urgency. I find that that bench is sitting, my lord, today at two o'clock to deliver a judgment. Yes. My lord, I do not know whether your lordships can accommodate us, my lord. I can then serve notice and come back, my lord. The matter is extremely urgent. Uh, what is the issue? My lord, the issue is, my lord, your lordship said, my lord, ask for a for a contempt hearing, my lord, not to be proceeded with. Well, your lordship remember ask me to my lord make a mention before the lunch single judge not to proceed with the contempt my lord oh, this is concerning that signaling yes 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 i was fixed last uh, thursday but i thought the bench could not sit for whatever reason but uh, can it be heard by this bench uh... yes yes it can be heard it can be heard by because your lordship so i don't think have really proceeded very far with that matter So we will hear it in this regular bench. I am very grateful, my lord. If it can appear, if, uh, you can ask your counsel. Yes, my lord. We will give it, my lord. Give the slip. There is an order passed. That is fine.
<laughs> Nothing what? substantial has happened, but well, the dear lordship said right. What the court officer says is, there is an order saying that this bench can't hear. What we can do is, we can list it today at 2 p.m. Well, huh? Then release it from that bench to be heard. I'm very grateful, Mallet. That will be the right thing. Can be done like. <laughs> No, no, Mala, I, I, Mala, even if I am in trouble, Mala, someone will be there. There is so much urgency I in that. Have, I was only praying for Thursday if it commences to my Lord, Mala, office. Mala, two days will not make a difference. It's just, Mala, whenever your Lordships can well, give us... Then some, uh, you please come... Uh, at 2 o'clock. We'll come at 2 o'clock. Hmm? You get the file. Hmm? You get the file. I'm, I'm seeking your Lordships kind of leave, Milad, to, men to mention matters, Milad. You know, connected matters, you know, concerning the election and post poll violence, you know, are fixed on 20th. I am seeking your lordship to leave, you know, to file similar writ petitions, you know. It is pertaining to Birbhum district, you know. People have been ousted from their room, you know, from their so house. What you can do is, yes. we will treat your client as an intervener. Uh, you, we will hear your submissions. But, but, you know, may I file it and give the number? So that it appears along with the 20th fixed matters. You know, the matters are WP 3039. C39 and C53. C54, C30. I'm sorry. Call this afternoon. You grant leave. Great. Your yes. Lordship, this is in regard to the Panchayat matters which we had filed. In the last two, three days after the hearing of your lordships, unabated violence is going on. Just few incidents I'm just mentioning before your lordships, although we know it is fixed on the 20th. Mm. But in the meantime, what is going on in the state is women have been stripped naked on the street. Men are being pissed on their faces. Police not registering any FIRs. Hundreds of uh, people have been uh, fled from the villages uh, can... and houses have been burnt or set ablaze. No, can somebody file an affidavit that red petition? Uh, yeah, your Lordship, I am appearing in person in this matter. I can uh, ask those individuals with whom this has happened. They can come and file an affidavit in my petition if your Lordship uh, mm, uh, grants yes. leave. Before you bring those affidavits. You do one thing. You serve these affidavits in advance to whoever is up, are appearing. We will take up your matter on 20th along. Grateful Lordship. Because their houses have been set ablaze. And no FIR is being filed. Rather, whose house has been set ablaze, police has filed a case against that victim. Then you serve uh, in the office of the ground pleader as well as the... I'll, I'll do also that. Serve. Grateful Lordship. Also Grateful Lordship. So I'm praying for leave to file this memorandum of review without leave. the certified Along with Review. the staff. What is the urgency? Leave, leave. So, urgency is on 5th July 23, your lordship passed an order. And it was on Wednesday. And a lordship usually, this court is usually takes up the public interest litigation on Monday and Tuesday. But so, we are the respondent number 11. We have enough documents to show before your lordships that this writ petition is not maintained. But lordship, we could not watch this list because that right. day. Leave granted. Okay. So, Lordship, in the usual course of my to... supplementary affidavit, I will annex ah, their yes. affidavits on, and file it. On 20th, you bring it. Great. But you need to serve it in advance. At least I'll, I'll do the need. By tomorrow. I'll, I'll do the May I take May my Lordship leave to file the memorandum of appeal without the certified copy, my Lord? Urgency is there. Uh, there is an urgency, my Lord, since the assessment order is passed while the read petition was pending before the single bench. Deep Lord, may I be I'm mentioning this matter, my lord. This was listed last Friday. Mm -hmm. And in this matter, Lordship heard that matter uh, relating to that input tax credit and asked the other side to file the affidavit. That has been completed, my lord. Mm -hmm. So I'm requesting if it can be listed anytime. It, it was listed on Friday? It was listed. But uh, this yeah. week again, Friday, my lord, the court will not uh, able to function, my lord. There is okay. some political... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you appear online. I can appear, but <laughs> I have to ensure my other. Oh, they won't come. They won't come. Our assistant, additional advocate general, he will be here. Hmm? Our assistant ad additional advocate general. No, no. Oh, no. He is leaving tonight itself. I can, my lord, I can stay here also for completing this matter. No. At the this matter, my lord, I am. Then just, let it come on 28th. My lord, 
my anxiety is different, my lord. This matter has already been heard, my lord. And no, no, yeah. lord, your lordship yeah. by twentieth, my lord, your lordship might get elevated. No, don't say all that. Uh, let it appear on twenty first. Twenty first, my lord. Again, the court will not function, my lord. That is the problem. We'll be here, my lord. We'll be here. We give you the option. We'll request the ground creator also to appear online, virtual, virtual hearing. And who are the other respondents? My lord, Mr. Siddiqui was appearing. If ah, he, if he he'll can, definitely be available. If he, if he's available, my lord, then. then. Special bench is there. Court officer is reminding that uh, Brilla Lodham man. Oh, oh. <coughs> my lord, give the letter. Let us my lord, see. Wednesday, my lord, if it can be kept. Wednesday, first half. Huh? First, second half. Hmm? Thursday, full appellate cell. Okay. Let us see. You give the letter. If possible, include on minutes. Lordship, may I be permitted to mention your Lordship? This is appearing as item number 656 in the list dated 6th of July 2023. Yes. Your Lordship, earlier I have mentioned on three occasions, Lordship, the urgency is that your Lordship, this is a PIL, wherein an order has been passed by this honorable bench, your Lordship, directing with regard to the private respondent that he shall no more be allowed to dump the biomedical waste in the municipal dumping ground. Now, there was an order passed by this Honorable Court, Your Lordship, and pursuant to that, the government, uh, the state government has, has issued a notice terminating his contract. Mm. Lordship, what he has done, Your Lordship, during the vacation bench, he has obtained an ex parte order, Your Lordship, from the red court, Your Lordship, and had taken extensions. Lordship, since this is a PIL, he has not made me a party, Your Lordship. Lordship, what I'm humbly praying, Your Lordship. No, no. Uh, you are the uh, contractor. Lordship, I, I am I'm not the contractor, Your Lordship. Uh. I have preferred a PIL. PIL? PIL. But uh, you, the, in the single bench has granted some interim order. Interim order to the party against whom an order has been passed by this honorable court directing that he's he may not be allowed to continue right, with why this. Why don't you uh, intervene in those proceedings? Lordship, the, say, only, the only difficulty is and that... Then the, Lordship, and the, then the probably the single bench will say, let the writ be taken up along with PI. Lordship, I have I have uh, tried to appear your Lordship. The only difficulty which no, I you face... You have to file a petition. Lordship, the petition I could... I have been unable to file your Lordship because I have been in the PIL. It is an individual, your Lordship. The individual can say before the writ go, saying that my PIL is pending in the interregnum because of some direction action has been initiated. Lordship. So therefore, I need to be heard in the matter or the court can club both the matters together. Lordship, that what I'm praying today, your Lordship, Lordship, this writ may be clubbed along with this PIL. You make a request before the learner. Lordship, I have case. already, your Lordship, I have already you made file it. File a petition. Oral request, how the judge, uh, the bench will release the matter. Lordship, if I may humbly pray, your Lordship, only one, one humble 656 can't be advanced. Lordship, one humble prayer, your Lordship. Lordship. Week, it can't be advanced. Hmm? Upgradation is impossible. In the, in the meantime, you exhaust this avenue, automatically the matter will come. Yes? Lordship. My Lord, uh, may I be permitted Lordship. to mention one matter? It's a matter of seizure under the Customs Act, my Lord. Yes, well, it's a matter, it's a seizure matter under the Customs Act, and the urgency is that the goods are still li uh, lying seized over there, and the goods are betel nuts. And though it's no not urgency. perishable goods, but it has next some Friday, certain next Friday. Next Friday. Malad, may I permit to mention one public interest Malad. litigation Malad, matters pertains to Panchayat election Malad. Mm -hmm. Here Malad, the large number of Malad ballot papers have been found scattered in the streets Malad, mm -hmm. outside of the counting office. Mm -hmm. Malad, the video, Malad, the big... So your matter is coming on 20th? No, Malad, I have filed, may it be listed on 20th Malad. Yes. yes Lord. Lordship, this is with regard to a public interest litigation. Yes, we are the students of Vishwabharati University. 
a teacher a professor who does not have the requisite qualification is holding the post you file the matter what is the urgency of the he is going to retire this month then the pil will be in fracture you give the letter my lord on previous monday i have mentioned for the determination before the honorable justice rajshekhar mantha and after for your direction i have filed that before the osd on today i have inquired the matter but they have stated me that uh, my lord has observed that and uh, passed no direction my lord this is very much urgency as let, let us check up hmm? he asked to osd to place that please call them appellate side delhi list serial number 2 number 2 my am for the respondent number 12 my lord i am for respondent number 11 my lord on the last occasion respondent number 11 was in custody so he could not uh, be present i am appearing today he is uh, he is still bailed in custody out. bailed out bailed out bailed out oh, I... and uh, now your your client has sold the institution to somebody else no she responded as per your last direction under the director of ऑफ़ No, no. He, 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 he has suffered custody because of the matter. No, no. He is trying to hooding everybody. Your Lordship, claim. if you Lordship directs, Lordship, I will uh, ensure his presence, Lordship, tomorrow. If if you Lordship directs, and let him explain everything to Lordship. If you Lordship, I want to submit one. There was a last opposition. There was a direction to upon us to file a affidavit on opposition, but that has been not reflected in the order. And one correction must be there. This is PS ninety thirty nine. PS number ninety three is a mistake. Yes, ninety three is mistake. That will be one hundred fifteen. Let us see the report of the police. Who was Malad? Set up reports of the alert from the alert director of the. So they have come here. Alert minister of the alert has for your last direction. You said recorded the statement and that is alert. Hmm. Let us copy them. Okay. Just let us go through this report. Rashi, may I get a copy of this? No, no, no. You won't get anything unless your client comes here. You won't get any. Rashi. Malad, this is a one-page report on behalf of the Oikana Nasir Council regarding Malad. The
gut. Ich kaste das der Wicke. Now, as on date, is a, they have filed an application. This Bankura Institute of Medical Sciences have filed an application. Some but query has been raised. Before my knowledge goes, the aspect of that, the Regional Nursing Council says that Bankura Institute of Medical Sciences is neither a recognized institute of under the WBNC nor it ever applied for to WBNC. Mm. But uh, so far my I have inquired regarding this matter, uh, what happens there. Well, they said that Bakura Institute of Medical uh, Science, this is a charitable trust. Mm. Under this charitable trust, there are several sister concerns. Probably one of them has applied for nursing, um. but that was not in the report. But I have I have uh, gone through the report, but that's why not after getting that report, but I have contacted with the West Bengal Nursing Council whether there is any ap application on behalf of the Bakura Institute yes, of Medical sure. Science. One page report they have given to me, mm. West Bengal Nursing Council. They said that it is neither a recognized institute under the WBNC nor it applied for WBNC. Then I inquired about it. Whether you said that they have already applied. Mm. Then they said under WP, uh, that the PIMS, Bakura Institute of Medical Science, is a charitable trust. Under this trust, there is probably one system concern. They have applied. That is not why, since there is no such document, I cannot say, Malad, probably. And who, who, from inquiry, Malad, I have. No, the 11th respondent is the director of the trust. Director of Lordship, this. Uh... C AI CAMS College under the AI CNK AI Group AI of Institution Associated AI Training AI Partners. One thing, hmm. Because Bakura Institute of Medical Science is also, as per the petitioner's uh, uh, complaint, your lordship directed. Let them make a party and let them file a, uh, give a copy of the petition they, so that they should come up before your lordship and what is their stand in this regard, they can say. And this 11th respondent is residing in the same premises. Same premises, Lord Shib, he is residing in Bakura. Why not? Why not evict on the petitioner? Why not? Am I audible? Ah, uh, yes. In respect of that. Why not? There has been a significant de development after this case. I must congratulate the state, state police. My lord, it is because of their plan for perfunctory investigation. My lord, the main person, Mitto Bodo Ganguly, who happened to be the particular owner of that particular premises has already been enlarged on bail. My lord, the reason I make such an observation, my lord, uh, I hope my learned friend has already there to hand over the order sheet. It will show that the investigation officer has simply uh, played dark and rich with the, with the entire procedure, as for which the particular the, the private respondent number 10, Mitto Pato Ganguly has escaped. Number one. Number two, so far as the organization is concerned, the illegal organization, which is absolutely apparent from all corners. My Lord, on last occasion, I have shown by changing the name of that particular institution, they have now, now, now been using the uh, signboard of some other organization and continuing with the same. Please hear us. Sorry for the interruption, PRS. You have not seen the reports. You are appearing virtually. Uh, now, uh, the three reports have been given. They have locked the sealed the premises. Only one premises where somebody very old person is residing, they have left it open. That's now the 11th respondent is represented by counsel. Let him appear. Let him appear before the court. And in the meantime, we will say that uh, you impeach the, uh, what is it, Bankura Institute of Medical Sciences. No, my lord, I am for the respondent number 12. All right. You please, uh, Mr. Sinha, you please implete the, you said, uh, you file a CAN application. Seeking for implement. I am also seeking for. Yes, your lordship. I will definitely do that. I will. I will be grateful to your lordships if such an opportunity has been extended to me. Yes, yes. Let I this mean, matter be kept pending. The Nursing Council, 
बांगलोर कॉलेज now without a recognition how this alexander trust could have called for applications received money no, from lord students Shubh, i uh, whatever i uh, when i did the conference what i found lord shiv these colleges are situated in bangalore now what happens number of students they are being admitted from west bengal to bangalore now this camps college becomes the mediator this comes the entire procedure that's why lordship the presence of the people who are sitting in bangalore is also necessary and i will ensure my clients presence in the court let everything be also my lord other six person they are they are present today also that time they are present should be my lord already because oh, statements have been recorded as and when required as and when required they will be summoned let's so the 11th respondent will appear this Ibrahim and Saeed Ali Choudhury will appear yes. on the next hearing. Next. In the meantime, the Central Nursing Council shall not process any application filed in the name of Bankura Institute of Medical Science. Get through. Subject to further orders, they shall not. Be. You are appearing for the office of the principal accountant, sir. Or in the office of the principal accountant, sir. To be here, Man. suppose Man. some uh, forensic Man. audit audit test Man. be done, you can assist us. Man. we have heard the learned advocates for the parties the 11th respondent <coughs> is now re- is now represented by mr so and so learned advocate it is submitted by the learned advocate that his client prapada was uh, arrested and was uh, um confined to jail and as of now he has been enlarged on bail let the 11th respondent appear before this court on the next hearing date in terms of the directions issued earlier uh, reports have been filed uh, by the joint director of health services within bracket nursing government of west bengal uh, uh, and also the uh, two reports have been filed hmm? by john trav so on so which are taken on record further the registrar of the west bengal nursing council by communication dated 11 7 2023 state has de- declared that as per the records maintained by west bengal nursing council the institution namely bankura institute of medical sciences is neither a recognized institute under wbnc nor it ever applied to wbnc for obtaining recognition in the light of the cassette categorical statement comma the west bengal nursing council is directed not to entertain any application at the instance of bankura institute of medical sciences without specific directions from from this court uh, the learned advocate appearing for two of the directors namely mr g i ibrahim j a a c s and syed ali choudhury uh, submitted that the, that uh, his clients are in bangalore and uh, on the next hearing date his clients will appear before the court in so far as the six persons who are, who are be, who have been appearing before this court on all hearings the learned uh, government council submitted that statements have already been recorded by the police and the uh, same is uh, 
is available. In the light of the same, those six persons from whom statements have been recorded, uh, uh, sorry, the personal appearance of those six persons from whom uh, statements have been recorded uh, um, is dispensed with for the present. Um, the report in this regard has already been filed. The report filed by the concerned police is uh, taken on record. Um, in, ter in terms of the above observations, the 11th respondent shall appear before this court on the next hearing date. And also, Mr. Jia Ibrahim and Saeed Haili Chaudhary uh, uh, shall also appear uh, before this court on the next hearing date. So, list the matter on so and so date. My Lord, one more indulgence, my Lord. Yes. Can a copy of the uh, report be given to us? Yes, yes, definitely. Please. Extremely grateful, Your Lordship. Waited on for the learned advocate appearing for the petition. In page 4 of the order dated 26-6-2023, the title suit number has been mentioned as TS number 93 of 2020, whereas the correct number is TS number 115 of 2020. In the said order, and this order shall form part of the order dated 26-6-2023. The uh, writ petitioner is granted leave to include Bankura Institute of Medical Sciences as a respondent in this writ petition. Along with the police report, Submitted by the inspector in charge, Bankura Police Station, a pen drive of the statement, as a pen drive containing the statement recorded from the six persons, has been uh, enclosed. The said pen drive is uh, returned back to the learned uh, uh, advocate for the uh, for the respondent police uh, for the appearing for the police as and when required. We'll return it to police. Please turn so on. Yes. Uh, direction for FTP in opposition, whatever I want. Let him be here. Let, he will be him. Let him see our court. He will be coming. I will ensure his presence. Then we will see. Stage okay. by stage, we will. Matter with us, your worship. Yes. Serial number three. Lordship, I beg to appear for the petition. Lordship, all the annexes were craved leave. As a result of which, the, I could not submit it before the, this honorable court as well as before the state advocates. It, it is with me right now, Your Lordship. Mm. The annexed documents. Memory card. Memory card. With your kind Lordship's leave, uh, may I submit it? What is this concerning Panchayat election? No, 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 absolutely not. It, it one, the one point is regarding Panchayat that has become infructuous. Basically, the point is that your lordship, the private respondent, the lordship private is alleged that the private respondent gave a hate speech, and with regard to that, the petitioner has a, a complaint. Now, I'm not in a criminal complaint, it has been of uh... memory card. No. Your lordship, it is in accordance with the. Uh -huh. Now, the fifth respondent, according to you, has uttered certain... Your Lordship, those are very, very spurious in nature, Your Lordship. They, they will be beaten with bamboo sticks. And they have they have mentioned the workers of BJP, of the Bharati Janta Party, as well as the workers of the Congress. Whenever they will enter Bashirhat, the people of Bashirhat will beat them with bamboo sticks. This is what she uttered, Your Lordship. That, that is there in the... Uh, that is there with me, Your Lordship. So, wh what is the direction you seek in this? My case? direction is that, Your Lordship, as per the order of the Honorable Supreme Court... And dated, the, may I submit the order, Your Lordship, mm. with, with the leave? We, Lord, we would like to know how this statement is true to her knowledge or the or his knowledge. So it is published knowledge. in the press? You it is published it. in the press. I have also, we, I have also we, watched it through a video. We have not been given all of this. I'm, Lord, I'm submitting. Your Lordship sees how it was filed. It has been craved leave, I have already said. Lord, can you see the endorsement on the, on the, Lord, uh, on the brief? The endorsement? Lord, please see the endorsement filed without enclosures. That has craved leave your lordship. So you file those annexures in the department. 
Or you filing it here? Uh, no, your lordship, I have craved leave. That is, that, there are two concepts, your lordship. One is regarding uh, filing of annexes along with the petition. No, no. What, what is the what is this order? Your lordship, this order is relation with hate speeches, including speeches under section five hundred five of the Indian Penal Code. That section, your lordship, is completely applicable in this regard. I have bought two uh, copies of the section one hundred five hundred five of the Indian Penal Code. If your lordship may uh, may please have a look at that. Lord, these annexures that you file in the form of an affidavit. Why by the form of affidavit? Uh, Leonard, advocate for the petitioner seeks leave to file an affidavit along with the annexures. Leave granted. Much obliged, dear Lordship. And whether the private respondent has been served? The private respondent has been served, your Lordship. The affidavit service is with me. I, I can show you. No, no. You serve this uh, affidavit, annexures on the private respondent as well as on the uh, additional advocate general, then we use. Next. Serial number four. Lordship, there, will be, uh, there will be liberty to mention, your Lordship, this matter. Much obliged. Your Lordship, in item number four, my senior Mr. Alok Chatterjee is appearing in this matter. Mm. He is ill and he has not come to court. Kindly give us one week time, your Lordship. Next week. Next week. Respondents have been served? Yes. But how to uh, issue but a mandamus? This is asking to... for a policy to be made. Mm. Whether a mandamus would lie. Because there is no allegation of violation of Article 15. He says to recognize orphans as socially and educationally what... backward. Under Article 15.4, whether a red court can issue a mandamus to. But a special class is asked to be created in respect of orphans because there is no segregated reservation for orphans per se. Petitioner says for uh, female orphans, there are certain benefits provided. Calls upon your lordships to direct us to have a policy with regard to the male orphans. Whether Mullard, your lordship's court would Mullard, in such a circumstance not enter into a policy making uh, exercise. Already senior is not well at the request of learner advocate zones uh, petitioner next week. No, kindly keep it after a fortnight, Lord. Pardon? Kindly keep it after a fortnight, Lord. I mean, some... After a fortnight. <laughs> Serial number five. Hello. My Lord. I am on behalf of the petition. In this matter, my Lord, I am appearing on behalf of petition number six. My Lord, just yes. now oh. the copy has been received by my client today, my Lord. So, my Lord, I am praying. On the accommodation six just today. Look, this is just the admission hearing. May I just please your uh, please this court, my lord? What is the matter? My lord, uh, this is regarding the discrepancies that has been committed in the Pradhan Mandri Avas Jojana scheme. The discrepancies are of three folds. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, am uh, amount of money has been received in the account of the person has already been died long before. Number two. Application has been made by person X and money has been received by person Y. And number three, the persons, those who already have two storied and three storied building, have received the benefit of the Pradhan Mantri Avas Jajuna depriving the actual beneficiaries, my lord. And these 29 discrepancies has been. But uh, your uh, representation. My lord, uh, we have uh, made a fresh representation on 6th uh, of. June 2023, page 79, annex P9. Why can't the DM examine it? My Lord, uh, uh, it would be like uh, Nemo Judex in Kosa Sua. They, can, they cannot be the judge of their own cause, my Lord. The allegation is against them, my Lord. If uh, the state missionaries are not involved, how can these discrepancies can be no, no, identified, no. my Lord? No, who allots the work? The video. So the district magistrate will investigate. 
may not uh, i have no uh, objection in this regard mm, yes. if the district magistrate take the appropriate action this by this public interest litigation the petitioner alleges that there is large scale illegality committed in the pradhan mantri awas yojana scheme by way of illustration it is submitted that dead persons have been given benefits persons who are owning multi storied buildings have been paid money and in certain other cases the beneficiaries are persons who are not registered under the scheme in this regard it, uh, several representations have been given to the authorities including the district magistrate south 24 parganas district one such representation is dated 8 to 2023 ജനുവരി the petitioner has enclosed a list of the uh, ids uh, i capital d capital apostrophe s where alleging that those are the details of the persons who have been, whose names have been used to siphon public funds this representation was sent by speed post and has been uh, received by the authorities including the district magistrate south 24 parganas on 27 1 the the private respondents are also been represented by their learned advocate in the light of the above without going into the merits of the allegations made by the petitioner against the private respondents we direct the district magistrates south 24 parganas district comma the third respondent to consider the representation Uh, yeah, and investigate the matter call for the necessary records issue notices to the private respondents and all other concerned and after a, a thorough inquiry pass appropriate orders on merits and in accordance with the law my, my lord in, in the event if it is found that public funds have been siphoned the district magistrate is directed to take immediate action for immediate remedial action in this regard and also initiate criminal prosecution against those persons who have indulged in siphoning of public funds the above direction be complied with within a period of 6 weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of the sob much obliged next serial number 6 that's what should i beg to appear am lord on behalf of the petitioner mm. but uh, if you lot you kindly see the annex chapter page 28 annex chapter pa p3 but page 29 milot it's the effective paragraph milot second paragraph but i am though milot i believe i cannot say before the court that this is actually public interest litigation it directs no milot the issue actuality it's an area of the port trust area where milot the murders gambling everything is going on milot second paragraph i do not want to utter these words milot that is to be looked into by the state authorities including the port trust this is my humble submission only second paragraph i do not want to utter the words this is my humble submission nothing more nothing less and uh, what is the petitioner doing he is uh... no milot he is the resident of that area there are institutions not only that there are schools students are going from that they are availing this area what, what are the photographs of this truck milot these are the area totally milot malad will see if your lordship sees the photographs milot from where milot it will appear how milot they are act, milot, activating oh, the protest will take yes action. milot that is my humble submission milot this is my humble. i am appearing on behalf of the person milot against whom the allegation has been made in paragraph number 9 10 and 11 my lord although i am not a party but my lord only to hara notice has been issued by the my lord the client itself my lord 
regarding the pendency of this case, my lord. And the certain allegation was made against me, my lord, although I have been not made a party. But the notice was served by the client itself only to harass me. And the photograph. That is not within my knowledge, my lord. I, ca I cannot say in this. Only to only for my lord, this is my lord with deepest respect. But, but this, this is, is not, not a public, public interest, interest litigation. There is some private. Lord, I cannot. I, I, I have private interest, and Lord, I, when my turn okay. comes, Lord, I, I am for the port trust, Lord. So you can say, Lord, you say, you say under the public premises eviction of unauthorized occupants, right? there. No, no, no. The, the position is different here altogether. Lord, if there is issue of encroachment, because if your lordship sees the press, there are two aspects: one is encroachment, and the other is other illegal illegal action. activities. Other illegal action, port trust will complain to me. I will take action. Lord, no, the, the port, office, now the port is 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 there. But why don't you regulate your own premises? That's all. I, I'll tell you, Lord. So, Lord. so far as my properties are concerned, Lord, if there is an illegal encroachment, Lord, we take steps under Lord, the exempt rule. Now, Lord, if there is a murder or Lord, there is a, Lord, a, a, any other crime that takes place, Lord, it is for the state authority Lord, who can take steps. Therefore, that is not in my domain because I can't prosecute nor investigate. Now, Lord, here, Lord, this is a petition which is very generalized. Now, Lord, we cannot, on the basis of what they say here, your Lordship has seen the letter, it later only says that there are murders and there are illegal car parking going on. Right. But wherever there are illegal car parking. No, if suppose some illegality occurs in your premises, if it is within your domain, you take action. Okay. If you say that police have to take action, report to the police, that's it. That is not exactly what has happened. In case of Lord, when they say there was a heinous crime, Lord, we complained to the police. Police has taken steps and they are investigating. Okay. The petitioner by way of this red quotation styled as a public interest litigation points out that in the land owned by the port the port trust respondent in, Lilua, trust, have, no land. in Lilua, Lord, that portion we don't own any land. land. There is uh, illegal Lord, the stretch is very long it's a business and other rivalry. illegal activities are being carried on and no action has been taken uh, by the port trust authorities or by the police authorities in paragraph uh, 8, 9, and 10. <laughs> Sorry, 8 and 10. The petitioner has mentioned the names of three alleged transporters, stating that they are transporting illegal and banned items, and has also given the truck number. <clears throat> Though such an allegation has been made against certain third parties, they have not been implemented as respondents in the red petition. In any event, the uh, the writ petition cannot be treated as a, a, a public interest litigation as the petitioner has named certain third parties who are who are alleged to have illegally and forcefully forcibly parking their trucks at the Ramakrishna Pura Ghat area. Uh, and uh, it is alleged that they were caught by the Bangladesh Customs for transporting illegal and banned items such as liquor, Come on, banned medicine and many other items. Um, if there is any illegality which is occurring in the land belonging to the respondent portress, it is the portress which has to take action in accordance with the law. Therefore, the the uh, therefore the petition the respondent portress shall examine the issues which have been flagged by the petitioner, and if any illegality is uh, uh, is being perpetrated in the Premises owned by the respondent portress, necessary action be taken in accordance but, with Lord, At page 31, Lord, we have given a letter to the petitioner asking for some compliance. Lord, he has not done so. Page 31. Lord, they have, ask your people to. We have. We have. We have uh, Lord, she was directed. Say, Lord, we have done say, so before. The respondent portress shall conduct surprise inspection of the area in question and, uh, and ensure that. The premises owned by the respondent portress is not put to any illegal use. With the above observation, the reputation stands in this post. Now. Next. The learned advocate appearing for the third parties whose names have been mentioned in the uh, in the writ petition would submit that the allegations made against those third parties are emphatically denied. Next. Lots. Lots. I'm grateful. Oh, 1250. He'll come back. My lad.
Serial number seven. Now I beg to appear on behalf of the petitioner. Lord, the matter is with regard to filling up the water body. Lord, this is the second round of litigation. Lord, kindly have a look into page 35, the earlier order passed by this bench. At page 35, Milord, the last paragraph, Milord, the state admitted that this is the water body. subsequent <laughs> Nine percent. If you want to be part time shows. The district magistrate has passed an order, page thirty nine and forty. Yes, sir. But he says at page forty, last paragraph. My Lord. During the entire process of hearing, it is nowhere found <laughs> that the alleged patta holders. Uh, filled up the pond and neither have been they have made any application for permission to make such a sale. Though they may have an option for making such an application under section 166. As those patta was allotted in the year 81 and since then they are cultivating. That means the land which is classified at Buku filled up in the usual course of nature without any deliberate action. And such change took place before 24-3-1986. My Lord. My Lord, this is his observation, my Lord. My Lord, prior to 1986, my Lord, how the uh, 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 water body is filled up, he did not, he did not know. And my Lord, number one. Number no, that's two. what the DM says, and, that by natural, usual course, it got happened. They are uh, cultivating 81 patta was issued. Lord, what to do now? My Lord, that's, that is why, my Lord. And those beneficiaries. The inquiry was required, my Lord. Miller, the order was passed without annexing any statement of the villagers. Miller, only the villagers is the eyewitnesses and their statement to be recorded. And the officers, on the basis of the report... Something happened prior to 86. What these villagers were doing? Miller, it is it is the idea of the district magistrate, but it is not the correct fact. The fact is, Miller, the moment the water body is going to fill up, the villagers are made the complaint and my lord after that the uh, uh, pil was filed on the basis of the order passed by this court this order was passed my lord, i am i am i am in doubt with the sanctity of this order my lord. My lord, the water body was filled up in front of the villagers and that 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 is why my lord in my read petition my lord kindly have a look into prayer C. Was any inspection report called for by the DM? Lord, if your Lordship is pleased to see page 39, yes. the Lordship will find that physical field inquiry took place. Lord, please see mm. the last paragraph. Field, field inquiry was conducted. Yes, Lord. In the presence of petitioners, private response. Yes. Our cultivated land, long time in agriculture purpose. 42 years cultivation is going on there. Lord, can you call for the uh, inspection report? I'm the not... statements made by the villagers. Very difficult. And Milord, why, Milord, I came up with this repetition with prayer C. Milord, kindly have a look into once. Page 17. 
Oh, what is the prayer in the red petition? You have not challenged the order of the DM. No, my lord. In the PIL, that order not to be challenged, my lord. That order is not. Then a be... couple of villagers no, write them join together and you challenge it. Lord, Lord, yes. may I you file an appeal this. against this order. Lord, may I respectfully submit this. Lord, please come to page thirty-nine, last line. Yes. On the said inquiry, a more or less ten decimal of the said plot is found, which still exists as water body, whereon no patta was allotted. So you this ensure be, this ten this decimal is, is protected. Yes. Lord, if if any water body is filled up naturally. Then how, why, and how the ten decimal to be remains? So you need to challenge this order, Milad. This order not to be challenged in PIL, Milad. So far my knowledge goes, Milad. That's why, Milad, I come, I came up with the prayer, prayer C, Milad. Kindly have a look into uh, page seventeen. Yes, prayer C. Please come. By the way of this public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for a direction upon the state respondents to stop filling up of the water body lying situated at so and so, so and so. In prayer A, it is there. And for constituting a high power committee to inquire the local public and to submit a report as to why the private respondents have filled up a water body. The petitioners had earlier approached this court and filed WPA within bracket P number 439 of 2022, which was disposed of by directing the <coughs> district magistrate Puro Bardhama to inquire into the matter. Pursuant to such direction, notices were issued to the petitioners and the private respondents and inquiry has been conducted and a detailed order has been passed. From the order, it is seen that a field inquiry was also conducted on 21-9-2022. And uh, it is uh, stated that, that um, the private respondents are all patta holders and are cultivating the land for a long time. And the land is put to use for agriculture purpose. And the patta was granted in the year 1981. Further, it is stated that on inquiry, it is found on the on field, field inquiry, it was found that more or less 10 decimals of the said plot uh, is found to be a water body where no patta has been allotted. The petitioner has not challenged the order passed by the district magistrate, but would submit that in this public interest litigation, uh, um, such a relief need not be sought for. In our considered view, the appropriate authority has conducted a field inquiry after notice to the petitioners and the private respondents, and all of them have appeared. And it is found that the pattas were granted in the year 1981, and uh, the authority has also found that that uh, the land which was classified as pukur, P-U-K-U-R, filled up in the usual course of nature without any deliberate action, and the said change had taken place before 24-3-1986. Therefore, at this juncture, the question of disturbing the status quo does not arise. However, we note from the order passed by the district magistrate uh, dated 8th December 2022, an uh, extent of more or less 10 decimals is found to be a water body. The authority shall ensure that the same is retained as a water body and no patta should be granted in respect of the said extent Slash a, a set water body to any third parties with the above observation, red portion dismissed. Next, and Milad, Milad, one indulgence, Milad, kindly have you going to page 29. The record of rights shows that the water body is still pukur. That is true, sir. What happened? Uh, and Milad, my second point is, Milad, kindly grant me the liberty to challenge this order before the appropriate forum. Um, <laughs> If next. the petitioner says that he is not an agreed party, he cannot challenge. Next, next. Serial number eight. First, I am led by Mr. Dipuridhi Raha. Due to his personal difficulty, he is unable to quote today. I am praying for not this week. And if my non-action could supply us a copy of the red petition. 
We have not been served, no doubt. You, you are for the private respondents. I'm supposed to be one of the private respondents. It's a factory land, not probably some sort of a dispute over that. He says some encroachment is there. Part of the road in terms of the order passed by the third respondent. Who's there's, the third there's respondent? There's an order passed at page 41 of your lordship's brief. 41. Zilla Parishad. So and so 2.14 acres water decimal shall be recorded as road which after restoration, restoration so and so. BLLRO. Page 43, a lot you will find that several directions are issued. So there was a requirement of the SDO, Asensol, to take up the matter, Mlod, which perhaps not needs to be Mlod, taken up. The last if you could come back not after producing a copy of the petition that may be served on us. You serve copies. As, as per his instructions, already served but not yet completed. Service not yet completed. Not yet completed. All right. If you can give have extra copies, you serve. We will just say at least after service of notice. Next. Serial number nine. I am for the petition, my lord. Yes. But here there is be, there is a proposed gold hub, which has been proposed to be constructed over a land piece of land which is described as crematorium area, Sansan. Now, lordship, and what are what is the construction being put up? Now, these are they are putting it there. They have this is a proposed hub, and the tender has been info. Our information so what is, is what that is the construction. For the hub, they will be uh, putting up the construction. Uh, they have, it, it is uh, already the tender has been floated and now they are starting this work. The works so, to start this work. Uh, the land is classified as a burial ground. By burial ground, sun sun. Lord, you kindly come to these two documents. One, Lordship is uh, page 48. Now, 457 it is samsan and 475 is industrial park now both of these land these were from the khatiyan number one land the state owned land now this has been converted now kindly come to next page which says that khatiyan number 2175 which is also described as samsan that is a crematorium burial ground crematorium area now lordship then 50 this is the information which we have uh, fetched from the Bengal Banglarbhumi.com containing all the documents related to the land, which also says 457 is crematorium, 475. Oh, page, 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 page 50. No, come to page 51. There is an endorsement made by the BL and LR. That is 51. Ah, certified that? Certified that LR Dag number 457. In Moja Faridpur, jail number 227 area, 44 decimal, classified as Samsan, is recorded in Khatiyan number 1 in favor of collector government of West Bengal. If all concerned authorized authority accorded permission for Durga Puja on the above stated land, then under sign has not any objection for permission for to effect for Durga Puja. That was recorded by BLLRO on a particular application which was made for the partnership. Now you, you have Puja. Shot, huh? Durga Puja. This Dur is a... Your that was permission. That was permitted to Durga Puja. Ah. Now, Lordship, it is the proposed, this industrial hub or gold hub which is coming up where the uh, villagers raised the objections and uh, they made their representations. Industrial hub, it is up to them to put to use the land belonging to the government. If it is a samsan uh, or a burial ground or a cremation ground, in that... Uh, they, they should not. Is, but, uh, please have a look at first paragraph. 
petitioners are the citizens of Faridpur village. Hmm. That may be the paragraph four. The grievances are of these villages itself. Hmm. So the proposed project is at Faridpur. Hmm. It is the aggrieved persons who have come to your lordship. Now, Lord, so far as uh, this is concerned. No, if, if it is classified as a crematoria ground, well, you but, inquire into the matter. Certainly we shall, Lord. If your lordship, please take page 49. Uh -huh. Your lordship will find, Lord, the uh, Kudru and Choto Uddog, that's the MSME. It, and what does 49 say? 49 is the... Yes, Lord. 49, Lord, it says Khutian number 2175. Srini classification is, is the burial ground. Then, Lord, the description of the area is given. Then the riot or the lessee is the MSME. Yes. MSME, Lord, my, micros and small, medium ah, in, yes. in enterprise sure, industry. So, Lord, the, the riot is utilizing it for setting up a gold hub shops for selling of gold. Now, Mr. Lordship wants us to consider whether the title in the property vests in the Straight. organization which is setting up. That will not be able to. Mr. Shen, it was recorded as a crematorium. Yes, 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 yes. How can it be recorded in the name of the MSME? MSME. No, that is what is appearing from page 49. Your Lordships are wanting me to uh, ensure that this is clarified. Lord, we will do that, Lord. Because so this is the government land. Yes, yes, of course. So you have converted it from crematorium to... Yes. <laughs> oh, that is for feasible. By way of this public interest litigation, the allegation made by the petitioner is that the land which is comprised in LR DAG number 457 in Moza Faridpur, JL 227, measuring an extent of 44 decimal, which is classified as sam samasa, SMA, SAM, inverted comma, and, and is recorded in Ketan number one in favor of the collector, comma, government of West Bengal, is being put to use for the purpose of constructing shops to form a gold hub, inverted comma. The record of right shows that the beneficiary has been has shown as MSME. It is not clear as to how a government land, which is classified as a crematorium land, could be show, shown to be, you know, uh, can have hmm, uh, a private beneficiary. Therefore, we direct the district magistrate. Pashim Medhinipur. Pashim Medhinipur, the third respondent, to immediately inquire into the matter. And if the, if the name of the beneficiary has been wrongly entered, then after notice to the all concerned, necessary rectification should be made so that the land which is earmarked as crematorium, huh, if it still continues to be, shall be retained as such without altering its physical features. This uh, direction be complied with by the district magistrate within a period of three weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order. Grateful, man. Serial number 10. All matter is No matter. May I please your lordship? Yes. I beg to appear petition in person. <clears throat> Matter is relating to West Bengal Animal Slaughter Control Act 1950. Lordship, come to page 36. On the earlier Chief Justice, yes. former Chief Justice, Jatin Bhai Bhattacharya passed an order and Companion Justice Puri Banerjee passed. <clears throat> this cannot be done in open public place. Kindly come to page 44. Service, service not yet complete. I have served upon all the rest. This only receipt is there. Where is the delivery report? And who are the respondents? Now, oh, slaughtering should be banned, is it, according to you? What no. is the prayer you want? Already directions are there. 
Yes. Already had election. But no change yet. Let me allow my son. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please. No change yet has been made. No. No change yet has been made. Year by year increasing, not decreasing. Hmm. We will say that. Uh, article 19, Lord Chief, what law says? What law says Article 19? Ban on slaughter of bulls below 16 years of age would be a reasonable restriction. But total ban of slaughter of bulls would be unreasonable. Hasmatullah versus there is so many judgments. Maharashtra, Mumbai, or Honorable High Court. Page 44, already direction is issued. Already direction. Page 44, last paragraph. Rajasri. The state authorities shall take all necessary steps. No steps have yet been taken. And during big pleadings, kindly is page six. Continuously going on. To ensure that the provisions of 1950 Act are implemented prior to observance of the festival of Idu Chua next year. I respected Idu Chua. I respected it. Everybody respected Durga Puja. That is not my grievance. In open public place. In open public place, Lord Chief. Let us assume. Also ensure that there is no slaughter of animals in any open public place. That is correct, sir. Already page 44. Slaughter of animals, including cows, buffaloes in open public place is strictly prohibited. Sacrifice of a cow is no part of the festival of his so and so and is not a religious requirement under Islam as held by the Honorable Supreme Court. I appreciate. I appreciate. But no change yet has been made. And uh, today. Sir, as long as this direction is there, you need of to implement. Course. We have been doing it. Even this year it has been done. I've nothing has been done. Nothing ought to be happened. No, there are three orders passed by this Honorable Court. The first not only that, Supreme Court passed up. Although Chachi, you know, the unpretty at Chipashas of Mike, this Chachi. But the, the allegation is even this year, this was not followed. False. Absolutely false. I've got with me copies of the IP. Everything is false. But when he was saying everything is true, in a public interest litigation, your lordships uh, uh, require the, the minimum amount of uh, research the work to be done. He, allegations absolutely vague. I've got copies of the notifications used in all uh, uh, public Sorry, dailies. Law, law is in place. Absolutely. In when the earlier matter came up, the state took a stand that it cannot implement the provisions of the act. Division when we said, will do it by the next year. Next year. So directions were issued. Yes. Then it was modified by the next second order. You may issue a notification, you may issue prohibitory orders, etc. But there should be some mission now not, to see that the order is. Now my learned friend is saying that there is a violation. Let my learned friend show from the PIL this amount of research work he has to do. Let yeah. my learned friend show the violation from his pleadings or from the documents. You can you can form a special team eh, only for one or two days. They can go around and ensure that uh, this order is not uh, violated. No, your lordships, uh, lordships. You then, at least for the next year, you issue strict guidelines. But guidelines are, have been issued this year also. Where is the violation of the court's order? If I may ask myself the question, let him say this is a particular instance. This is a particular instance. I'm pointing pointing out five illustrations that there's been a violation. Some research work he has to do. Except for annexing copies of the orders passed by this honorable court and shouting out the two combined together cannot make a public interest. I am not annexing, there is no newspaper. Let him point out one. This public interest litigation filed by Mr. Sarkar appearing in person. The petitioner seeks for strict implementation of the orders passed by the division bench in WP 328 of 2018 and WP number 
4315 within bracket W. 2015, dated 16th August 2018. As well as 21st day of August. And also the orders in GA number 2325. The first 18. order is not annexed. There's an earlier order. The yeah. other two are, are, arise out of this order. In WP 328 of 2018, dated 21st August 2018. This is a parent. From the writ petition, we find that there is no specific... Page 36 made refers petitioner. to this order. Page 36 order. First paragraph refers violation to Violation of the directions issued in this order, in the earlier orders. The learned assistant and additional advocate general pointed out that there is an earlier order passed by the Honorable Division Bench. Um, in the case of Rajshri Choudhury was a state of West Bengal, uh, reported in 2017 SCC Online Calcutta 13016. Um, the matter concerns um, slaughtering of animals, including cows and buffaloes, in open public place. All the three orders clearly show that there is a prohibition from uh, slaughtering the animals in public places. And that, uh, there is also an observation made by the Honorable Division Bench in its order dated 21st August 2018 that sacrifice of a cow is no part of the festival of Eid Uz Zoha and is not a religious requirement under Islam as held by the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Muhammad Hanif Qureshi and others versus State of Bihar. Further, the division which directed that The public notice should be issued and such notice must be in line with the order which was passed by the division bench on 16th August 2018. Further, the state authorities were directed to take all necessary steps to ensure that the provisions of the what is that 1950 Act? West Bengal Animal Slaughter Control Act 1950 is implemented prior to the observation observance of the said festival during the ensuing year. Further, the state was directed to ensure that there is no slaughter of animals in any open public place. Though it is uh, submitted by the, uh, by the petitioner uh, appearing in person that the order has been violated, there is nothing on record to support such submission. The learned uh, ad additional advocate general appearing for the respondent had produced copies of the notification complaint uh, uh, issued issued by the uh, state government. Uh, in terms of the directions issued by the score by the division bench of the score, newspapers, the the orders, medium, as well as the authorities. Or orders passed by the honorable supreme court. In the light of the above, come on, for the uh, next year. We will before the festival. It is not now. But the order says one week. Well, before the festival, at least 10 days in advance, wide public, uh, wide no, uh, publicity should be given that slaughtering of uh, uh, animals festival. shall not be um, done in public places. And the provisions of the 1950 Act should be strictly adhered to. And uh, and also the directions issued by the Honorable Supreme Court. The, uh, the concerned department of the state government shall form uh, vigilance teams uh, to visit various areas so that uh, to ensure that the notifications published by the state government are strictly implemented without any violations. Yeah, not the above observation, the position stand disposed on. Next. Lord, please, Lord, also, Lord, if you'll also uh, record our submission that this year we have not received a single complaint with regard to any right violation. Before that, the learned additional advocate general submitted that uh, the state government has, the, author, the appropriate authority of the state government has not received any single complaint alleging any violation of the notification which was published by the government. Next. Only, only I am the person first complaining. Yes, next. Serial number 11. Uh, 
my lord uh, my lord serial number 11 and 12 mrs sinha appears for the election commission my lord she could not come to court owing to a personal difficulty and uh, for the my lord I think that these two matters, 11 and 12, may be placed along with that matter at all. Because I find the similar <coughs> issues are involved in WPA 339 of 2023. It's coming up on 20th. Yes. This matter may also have taken along with that. The same issues would be coming up repeatedly before the Lordship. I was thinking that it can be taken up together. Subject to what line advocate general says. List this matter along with WPA. My Lord, item 11, I'm fine with my Lord. Uh, being listed together. My Lord, 12 is slightly different. 12, we'll see. So, uh, list along with WPA, P339 of 2023, etc. My Lord, 12 can be kept on that date. There's no problem, but kindly don't tag it today. Very well, that's only done. What is 12? My Lord, 12 has not been served upon the commission, my Lord. I'm deep down there. 12 <laughs> is 11, 12. The 12 millet we have slightly after. different millet, so millet I don't want it tagged. So let it come after service of notice. No, we we'll serve the notice all. Millet, I have a copy. Millet, I commission has not received a copy of the commission. Page. Can be served. Commission can only already served. Anyway, let it appear on 20th. All right. Uh, then we'll list, list the matter. On I shall type it and sort it out. And, and in the meantime, we don't quarrel. the learned advocate for the petitioner shall serve copies on the standing council. Standing Council for the Auto State Auto Election Auto Commission. Commission. Okay. Serial number 13. Lord Shiv, item number 13. Mr. Srijip Chakraborty is appearing in this matter. Uh, he could not come to court today as he had to attend the Shad ceremony of late Justice uh, Torun Chatterjee. Mm. My Lord, once again, my Lord, the problem is this. Your Lord, we kindly see in uh, that in the garb of this, my Lord, after breaking open my padlock in the boundary wall, my Lord, my go down and the entire premises has been... Tomorrow, we'll have it tomorrow. Same position. Uh, not tomorrow, it's uh, on Wednesday or next week. Next it's week. It's an upgraded next... matter, sir. He is objecting to the adjournment. Your Lord, Chief, uh, the, the private the the fact. This private respondent already challenged that before a single one's read petition yes. is pending. Once again, I submitted, my lord, the, on earlier occasion, my lord, a read petition was filed. Against this is a different plea. cause of action, your lordship. The petition was disposed of. The initially, the, on the plea. initially, the, the petitioner said been, that the pond has been illegally filled up, your lordship. come on Wednesday. Yes, my lord. When, Wednesday. To Wednesday. At the request of Leonard Advocate, I'm feeling for the petitioner. When did he come back? Next Monday, my lord. After another going and another matter is there, my lord. It's a, my lord. It has a it has an implication throughout the West Bengal. This is relating to West Bengal University laws. My lord, will have, it is appearing at twenty one. But I mentioned umpteen number of uh, matters. What to do, sir? But we I know. We are not I know, my lord. That, that's why I submitted here under the Monday. Monday. Only Monday, same position. Next serial number fourteen. I am for the petition. Lordship. Lordship, this matter relates to 14. Lordship, this matter relates to using of the prefix doctor by the private respondent number eight, your Lordship, although he is not entitled here. Your Lordship, previously, this peti the petitioner here in filed a read petition, your Lordship, before this honorable court. Lordship will find at page number 28. No, he doesn't have any qualification. No, your Lordship. Your Lordship Kindly turns to page number 28, the previous read petition, the order by this honorable court, your lordship. In that matter, your lordship, there was a direction upon me to uh, file a complaint before the medical council. Yes, your lordship. On that basis, your lordship, I have made representation before the medical council. Now, lordship, kindly turns to page number 32, yes. the reply of the medical council. 
paragraph number 2 it is informed that the national medical council is an appellate authority and adjudicates appeal filed by the medical practitioners and professionals only against the orders by the state medical council further the name of the certain says that is the private respondent here in your lawsuit does not comes does not appear in the imr as registered no, 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 no. hence he cannot be considered as doctor and therefore he does not come under the purview of ethics and medical registration board and there is a direction upon me to approach before the wisdom medical council and who uh, the private respondent has been served yes your lordship he is not appearing no your lordship my lord may i make a suggestion subject to your lordship's approval no, no. my lord he cannot use doctor there is a division bench judgment of our high court already covering this issue इंस्टिट्यूट्स my lord which my lord that i wouldn't my lord uh, come and say my lord that he cannot oh, because he has, no no if he has to practice medicine he has to be registered in the state road either as a allopathic medical practitioner or practitioner of any of the ayush alternate system of medicine yes so my lord this is my lord an alternate my lord medicine there is my lord a society my lord which has been my lord registered my lord with my lord the and my lord they give my lord certificates they give certificates but he can't have my lord the prefix doctor my lord your lordships will find my lord here my lord the certificates have been given my lord page 23 my lord this is what creates the problem the institute is also before your lordship my lord they should not my lord confirm my lord uh, the degree of doctor which is that institute my lord this is my lord the the respondent uh, my lord yes my lord Institute of Alternative Medicine. Yes. Top fifteen, top July. Just listen to me. I'm not a. Oh, one case. Come on, fire. Let's start from the future. Let's start. Fifteen top July. Section four nineteen. Gold medal. Four twenty. And my lord, under section four nineteen and four twenty, we have already, my lord. Uh, case has been registered. Case has been registered. Fifteen top July. On fifteenth of July. Now the sixth respondent. Uh, Uh, he is the principal alternate medical counsel. Counsel, what is that uh, counsel? So, uh, if he is registered under that counsel, for that reason, I have made him a party of lordship. Lordship will find it. My lord, this is my lord. Actually, my lord, a society. The lordship will find that my lord at page twenty-four. Page twenty-four. No, this is a uh, bogus uh, organization. How they can say that uh, he is a bow bazaar for alternate medicines as RMP? He can't be a registered medical practitioner. See, he he can get his qualification from an institute, then come to your state uh, council. My lord, state cannot register. State can only register what's recognized by medical council act. Matter is over. So, my lord, he cannot, my lord, hold himself out as a doctor. The petitioner, by way of this petition, has flagged a very important issue. which directly impacts the general public the allegation is against the eighth respondent who is portraying himself as a medical doctor and uses the prefix dr in front of his name and carrying on medical pr practice um in terms of the decision of the division bench of this court in sanjeev das was a state of wb 2014 1 chn within bracket cal 427 Such a four to seven, a person who is who does not possess the requisite qualification and who is not the requisite qualification in terms of the Indian Medical Council Act, nineteen fifty six, and whose name does not appear in the register of medical practitioners as contemplated in the in the nineteen fifty six Act, is not entitled to use the prefix doctor. or dia admittedly the petitioner does not possess any medical degree from any recognized medical institution but would refer to 
a certificate issued by the institute of institute of alternate medicine stating that the the eighth respondent is registered as per the bylaws of the bau bazar society for alternate medicines as a registered medical practitioner in the system of what is this sir page uh, 24 you take page 24 in the system of in so and so system of medicine system of medicine system of medicine in a in a system of medicine the system of medicine uh, the institute of alternate medical sciences cannot award any degree or any certificate recognizing any person as a registered medical practitioner therefore action should be taken against the said institution namely the institute of alternate medicine said to be functioning and in number 15 sri gopal mulik lane calcutta 12 the certificate shows uh, certificate states that it is affiliated to the open international university and recognized by the government of west bengal based on central government act based on a central government act the certificate clearly shows that it is a bogus institution and uh, in the strength of a certificate issued by the said institution the eighth respondent cannot practice medicine in any form the learned advocate general appearing for the respondent state submitted that already criminal case has been registered against the eighth respondent uh, the concerned police shall effectively conduct the investigation and if the eighth respondent is still found to uh, why why uh, found to use the prefix doctor or dr Uh, immediate action should be taken uh, against the eighth respondent including taking him into custody the seventh respondent namely the west bengal medical council is directed to immediately probe into the matter as to how the alternate medical council uh, how the uh, sixth respondent is carrying on its activities and as to how they are entitled to issue any certificate etc the uh, university the probe should be more done in a effective manner and uh, once it is ascertained that the institution cannot issue any such certificate comma action should be taken by the west bengal medical council to clo- close the said institution and give wide publicity uh, of the same to the, so that the general public are not cheated the with the above observation requisition stands disposed of next Serial number fifteen. My lord, only one indulgence, if I may seek, my lord. Your lordship said I have stated that proceedings. My lord, I haven't got it in writing. I will so kindly make it on instructions. On instructions. Yeah, also, my lord, just on instructions. Kindly, kindly, direct my lane pen to produce the my lord uh, the file number and all these things, so that my lord we can also. So you go, lord. you go and find out from the police station. Next. Yes. Item fifteen. My lord, I am waiting uh, for release of this matter because just what the area used to appear on behalf of the private respondent. Yes. Uh, let this matter be. And my lord, can we assign this matter to some other branch? My lord, my lord, shall I, my lord, in this matter, I am asking on behalf of the private respondent, shall I play, file my affidavit in opposition? That can be. My lord, I am for the minister. Let this matter be placed before the order of the court. Or necessary. Can I? Next two evenings, sir. On the edge. टेकन and uh, their lawsuits had been pleased to record that can you find me lord the order dated 21st february 2023 from constructing high voltage high tension transmission line yes i mean 
You raise an objection. Uh, my laws, I am appearing for the petitioner in item 16. 16 and 17 are tacked together. And on uh, 21st February, when this matter was taken up and notice issued, there was an objection on the grounds of maintainability. And there was leave granted to the uh, respondent, uh, to the private respondent for, uh, for filing an affidavit uh, in uh, opposition, which has been filed uh, and a copy has been served on us. However, so far, there has no, not been any written preliminary objection on maintainability has been served to, uh, upon us, which was taken up by the union. And my Lord, may I also uh, state that uh, taking full advantage of the fact that there is no stay in this uh, matter, the private respondents are uh, continuing to... Uh, 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 the petitioners in item 17 are the landowners, is it? In, in in sixteen only has sixteen in six, it is some association no in sixteen there are thirty seven uh, rest, uh, petitioners only one and two uh, one is an uh, are the uh, are public are, are you objecting to the entire project or are you objecting to the uh, the uh, the route where the lines are being drawn my 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 preliminary objection is on the route for now, but I also, this is something that I've also uh, mentioned in my petition. If, if it is, if it is uh, your objection is regarding the route, then under the provisions of the Telegraph Act, there is a procedure contemplated where you raise an objection, the DM will conduct an inquiry and say that because if it is a, uh, a transmission line passing through two states, or several districts running to several kilometers, there is a problem. Supreme Court has uh, uh, six years back, all this litigation was entertained. By now, you you should be well aware of all those decisions. Hi. And poultry, uh, some poultry, the okay. cost title, Supreme Court decision, that they have said that it's not for the red court to interfere. My, my... So the earlier they said, and under the uh, transmission line, there will be radiation, etc., etc. My la lands cannot be cultivated. All those objections are all gone. My my lords, just uh, have you gone through those decisions? Yes, yes, so my, that... my lord, I'm not. I, my lord, I have. I actually, uh, if I can, if I can make a small submission, my lord, uh, my lord, the the objection. If if uh, if your lordship looks at our petition, there are the objections are twofold. One is, uh, which is the secondary issue, that is the issue of compensation. That is not the primary or the preliminary issue. The preliminary or preliminary objection is that no statutory, no statutory right. compliance. On compensation, what are the judgments you are carrying? On compensation, my my laws, there is an APD. The the there is a uh, currently in the Supreme Court was seized of the matter APDR versus State of West Bengal, and there was a seven member committee report which was filed. Now the petition was uh, disposed of. Uh, however, the on the question of whether that report will be accepted or not, the central no, government. You are, you are digressing from the point. What have courts held with regard to compensation? Compensation specific to trees, my lord. Anything. You, you lord, may have a cultivable land. You may have a cow shed, and the transmission line will be running around, uh, say, let us say, 100 feet above it. What have the courts held? My lords, courts have. You do some more research. My lords, may I may I make some further submissions? If you are objecting hmm. to the right of way, hmm. there is a remedy. You please raise, exhaust that remedy. If you plead for compensation, saying that my right to use the land has been substantially affected because these people put the uh, the pillars, put concrete, my land holding was only so many decimals, 80% of my land is gone. Then there is a different law on that. <laughs> this can't be examined as a PIU. You, Supreme Court has repeatedly said, but a landowner's right, obviously, uh, in a proceedings, if you are objecting the right of the way, you give an objection to the district master. He will issue notice to the transmission company, hear the objections, and then take a decision. My, my lords, may I make a, make a small, with your indulgence, a very small submission. My lord, the, the most recent, the, the one uh, judgment that is... Let me I... This... 
but the situation is something different. And for two reasons, right? I cannot. I have explained my specific stated in my petition that that how the authority has taken possession of my land. Everything is over. But they have used that police force. I have specifically pleaded that brutally beaten up, and then we are forced to we are accept money. Few of us, they have forced us to we are sign on the we are paper. I have given the sample copy. And we are this first first round. There is no we are scope for we are raising any objection. Uh, this in fact we are I have pleaded for this reason that it is impossible. For the people who are living there, man, to come before this court, though they have made initially, man, mass repudiation, thereafter, man, they have faced them, man, this music of this police authorities, man. Now, man, the second part is this jurisdictional issue, man. Man, they the authority has themselves, man, conducted a survey. Man, there was a three proposal: line one, line two, and line three. Mlad, all these proposals, though Mlad does not Mlad reflect the actual facts, Mlad. That's what we told, we told you. I, I, now Mlad, there are decisions of the Supreme Court which have clearly demarcated to what extent the court can examine these issues. Now Mlad, that's why Mlad. So, so you, whatever, you, what don't uh, pitch your matter with a, a sort of a uh, political agenda. Mlad, I am not. I am certainly not. Uh, then. Most certainly, Mr. Kindly, Mr. That's why, Mr. Whatever, whatever, Mr. In the report, Mr. I can place that, Mr. And from there, Mr. I can demonstrate that they should have accept the line one instead of line three. That's why. That's the my point, Mr. And if I have pleaded in my petition, Mr. Can that, that be examined by a writ court? Can that aspect be examined? Mr. That writ court can examine forceful dispossession. Uh, Taking over the land without payment of compensation, probably public hearing. Those are all issues. But how do you say line one should have been appropriate, line two should have been I, appropriate? Not I am saying. The authority is saying that. But kindly see that once but this report of the authority. Mlad. All right. What is your preliminary objection, yes, sir? The firstly, the, the treaty was executed, the international treaty, way back in 2011, and the writ petition has been filed in. February to, uh, 2020. Then you put a, your preliminary objection in the form no, of. There is no direction to give us. Uh, to we will it will be a question of law. Secondly, secondly, we are not uh, law aware that in case of an international treaty, the act of sovereign that cannot be challenged in the public interest litigation. Number one, and it is way back in 2011 it was taken. And what what happened to the project is over or is no? Going? It is continuing. It is continuing and the the. Well, I appear for the private dispute. You are the proponent, project proponent. Yes, now the power limit. Now, it is their specific case, and that is also the petitioner's case, that the compensation has been paid, and they want higher compensation. And no, this is not the forum. I've never said so. The reference has to be made to the civil court under the land right, Act. You do one thing, sir. Let the appropriate authority of the government, as well as the private respondent, file a short affidavit on the maintainability issue alone, so that they will be able to respond. Indeed, indeed, my uh, indeed, my lordship, and uh, my lordship, uh, uh, the may I submit? They have uh, may I submit the affidavit in reply? To what? Uh, no, because there was a preliminary, there, there was an uh, petition, there was an affidavit in uh, opposition submitted by the uh, uh, respondent number mm -hmm. 10 and 11, the private respondents. Ah, that you exchanged, there's no problem. We have heard the learned advocates for the parties. The learned additions mm -hmm. also to general has raised a preliminary objection with regard to the maintainability of these petitions. In fact, such submission was recorded by the Honorable Division Bench in its order dated. 21st February 2023. However, we find that uh, that's, uh, the said preliminary objection has not been placed in writing. Therefore, we direct the appropriate authority of the um, uh, direct the appropriate respondent, including the private uh, sorry appropriate uh, respondent, to raise the preliminary objection in the form of an affidavit and uh, serve copies of the affidavit. Uh, on the learned advocates appearing for the writ petitioner, giving liberty to the writ petitioner to file their objection, their uh, affidavit in opposition to such preliminary objection. Sir, kindly allow me to file the supplementary only to annex, bring on record on a document which I have written in the writ petition, but annex not improperly. 
then they'll have to be given an opportunity to respond. All right. So, uh, a supplementary affidavit filed by the petitioner is taken on record. Leave, uh, leave granted to the respondents to file affidavit in objection. Uh, opposition to this side. Supplementary affidavit. You give a date after two weeks. Two weeks is sufficient. Two weeks is, sufficient. Two weeks is the, it's a minister of power in New Delhi. Three weeks. Not. Three weeks. You called me or not? Ashok Kumar Singh. Serial number 18. Serial number 18. My Lord, I am it. My Lord. Yes. I am appearing in this matter. Brother, on behalf of the responding. Of your and uh, I am appearing with uh, Mr. Jani Ghosha. Now the elections are already over. And for the respondents, the petition are two also. All right. None of this for the petition. One thing, my Lord, it is related to State Election Commission. Uh, how the central government can answer to all these questions? Uh, none appears for the petitioner. Um, so and so uh, appears for the Election Commission of India. The petitioner, by way of this public interest litigation, seeks for a direction upon the respondent authorities to play, publish online format affidavit of assets of all those who had participated in the Gram Panchayat election held in 2013 and 2018. The elections admittedly are over, and the elections for the year 2023 is also over, and has also been completed. Therefore, at this juncture, the prayer sought for cannot be granted. However, it is left open to the petitioner to approach the concerned uh, respondent for representation, which can be considered, which may be considered in accordance with law. Disposed of. Next. Serial number 19. I am for the petition. Yes. My last occasion, my lord, I filed a video service, my lord, and my lord, uh, as per the prayer of the learned advocate appearing on behalf of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation, I have served again, my lord. I find my lord, my lord, page number 17, my lord. There is a complaint, my lord, unauthorized construction, my lord. They will inquire into the complaint. Uh, yes, inquiry and yes, submit sir. report before yes, you. Yes, sir. Consider, my lord, that one can is there, I have not received. Hey, very good. No, no, in the main matter. Main matter, there, but yellow can see, my lord, he has mentioned, yellow can come to paragraph 15 and 17. Paragraph 15 and 17, uh, 16. Uh, he says there is an another case uh, covering this particular premises number, and there are certain orders was passed by the court. And my lord, no, 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 no. that is I find my lord. Then he says my lord that my lord the paragraph my lord, the sixty my lord. Uh, there who, the, who, who is unauthorizedly constructing private respondents? That, that is that is separate premises, not these premises. And ten by six. Well, my 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 officer my lord went to the side uh, 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 local. And they have not found out 10 by 6 any premises. Possibly, my lord, that premises is no longer existence. But different premises number have come. You then you could have passed an order and but therefore, my lord, I have I have my lord asked my authorities, my lord, to look into the matter and uh, uh, submit my lord the details. Lord. You you reply to him. My lord. Yes, there is a direction of the court. You conduct a fresh inspection. Yes. And you say if the encroachment is found, you say encroachment. My lord. Yes, yes. Uh, by this public yes. interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for a direction upon the uh, uh, Kolkata Municipal Corporation to take action against unauthorized construction in premises number 10 bar 6, Kasi Basti, first lane, Kolkata 11. The learned advocate for the petitioner has drawn the attention of this court to an order passed in WPA. 173, 173 07 of 2021. In, in respect of other 2022. In respect of other premises. 
not same premises uh, in in respect of certain other premises where direction was issued premises, that order uh, for inspection uh, to be conducted where there was an allegation of unauthorized construction uh, the uh, though the private respondents have been served none appears for the private respondents uh, in the light of the uh, no please stop. in the in the light of the above without going into the merits of the allegations made by the petitioner against the private respondent we direct the appropriate authority of the kolkata municipal corporation to conduct a surprise inspection of the area in question and after ascertaining the full facts the representation given by the petitioner shall be disposed of by passing a speaking order yes. and communicating the same to the petitioner within a period of 3 weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order Aile. next Aile. Aile. serial I'm number to, to, serial number 20 see you sir mr Twenty minutes. We appear for response number three. Unnecessarily, the Central Vigilance Commission has been made a party. This is an allegation against the corruption and against the Gram Panchayat. Why the Why Central Vigilance Commission has been made a party? My lord, I am from the petition and my lord, uh, this petition is uh, a defalcation of public fund. My lord, hmm. the respondent number nine is uh, Bharatpur Gram Panchayat and respondent number eleven. Bharatpur Pradhan. What happened to your representation? Page number forty-nine. Uh, kindly see this. Uh, Any order? Page the... number forty-nine. Uh, Annexed P four, my lord. P four. Yes. What happened to that representation? No inquiry conducted. No, my lord. Whether a private uh, respondent has been served? Yes, my lord. If you repeat. Where is the affidavit of service? Yes, my lord. You have not imputed, huh? Yeah. Oh, Pradhan of the. Eleventh respondent is the person, according to you, has. Uh, you come to page. Yes, four. my lord. The petitioner, by way of this public interest litigation, makes an allegation against the eleventh respondent, who is the pradhan of the Bharatpur Gram Panchayat. My lord, uh, stating that large-scale corruption and illegal practice has been adopted by the pradhan and her associates. In the concerned panchayat, the, the, the further it is submitted, uh, further it is uh, stated that several other illegalities have been committed, and and uh, uh, by the concerned pradhan, with the help of her henchmen, and several crores of money has been siphoned off, which was allotted for the development of the people of the locality. The allegations made in the representation appears to be vague. No, sorry. Sorry. Oh. In the representation, uh, the petitioner has also mentioned about uh, the the various tenders which were allotted, which according to the petitioner are all um, um, illegal. Since the representation has been is, uh, was given to the authorities on twentieth of uh, February, twenty twenty three, it is but appropriate for the authority to inquire into the matter. Accordingly, without going to the merits of the allegations made again by the petitioner in the writ petition as well as in the representation, we direct the district magistrate Murshidabad to conduct an inquiry into the matter, issue notice to all concerned, including the eleventh respondent, call for the records, examine as to the correctness of the various tenders which have been awarded by the uh, said uh, pradhan of the panchayat, and if any illegality is found, necessary action be taken in accordance with law. This direction be complied with within a period of twelve weeks. Next, serial number twenty-one. Yes, sir. I appear for the petitioner. Well, this petition, my lord, uh, involves interpretation of some constitutional provisions. Mm. The the fact situation is this: in June last year, mm. the West Bengal State Legislature had passed a bill. Well, mm. the bill was with regard to. Uh, who should be the chancellor of the different universities of the state universities in the state? Now, the previous law under the, uh, on the different universities act was that the honourable governor will be the chancellor. Yes. Now, Miller, this uh, pr the present bill seeks to amend Miller the university acts for the purpose of making the chief minister the chancellor instead of the governor. Now, Miller, in June 2022. This bill was seventh June two thousand twenty-two. That this bill was passed, which I have annexed. Now, Miller, that that bill was presented in the same month 
for assent of the honorable uh, governor uh, as required under article 200 of the constitution mm. Milord, there is uh, the article 200 requires me lord that the governor can act in either of the three ways one is that he may give assent to the bill he may withhold the assent or he may send it to the president where he, where he, he the honorable governor feels that uh, some uh, the, the, the interest of the uh, of the of the uh, high courts or the central legislation anything is involved in that case the president is to be uh, it has to be referred to the honorable president now here me lord the honorable governor in my humble submission has done neither now there is a proviso to article 200 which says me lord that where the the governor uh, receives a bill for assent he shall as as soon as possible mm. uh, send this bill with his comments or suggestions regarding modifications etc to the legislative assembly that is not the, the the words are as soon as possible now after the bill is so sent back to the legislature then the legislature has a duty to look into it consider me the objections or suggestions made by the honorable governor and then me either with or without either with amendment or without amendment mm. accepting the, 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 the suggestions of the honorable governor or not accepting the, the, the suggestions if it is sent back to the honorable governor for assent then in that event the governor will give his assent that is the provision in article 2 oh, as per the order dated 16th may uh, the state was directed to be added as a party yes state has, has been added yes Lord. but i am for the union my Lord. Oh, no. state you are appearing so you you will Lord. accept notice for the but the cost is and i'm accepting the the honorable governor also twice. Even after the order, I'm the respondent number three. I'm for the respondent number three. That it is. Hmm. Stick. Page. Uh, page two. But I had indicated, though, Manad, I'm not the answering respondent for the respondent number one. But considering the nature of reliefs that have been paid for, my lord, but there is a clear bar under Manad, Article 361. Our mandamus has been sought for against His Excellency the Governor. First is a prayer for declaration. Second is my Lord, a prayer for a writ, issuance of a writ or for in the nature of mandamus. Then uh, let the state also get instruction. First you address us on uh, maintainable. First. Please address us on maintainable. Ad Lord. Hmm? The Mr. So-and-so learned advocate. Shall you do that now? No. On, uh, let him also get some instruction. Lord, Lord. Suppose AG may appear as uh, the uh, so-and-so learned advocate accepts notice for the uh, newly implemented third respondent and seeks time to get instruction in the matter. Uh, uh, the learned deputy solicitor general appearing for the second respondent has raised a preliminary objection regarding the maintainability of the red petition. Uh, after the uh, learned advocates for the respondent uh, received necessary instruction in the matter, the court will at the first instance hear the uh, submissions of the learned senior advocate for the petitioner on the maintainability of the petition where the relief sought for. Yes. After 10 days, by then they let them get two weeks. Is this two, two, two weeks. Huh? Seventh, seventh. Seven. Uh, May it be after the 15th of August, I'll be in some personal difficulty from the 3rd of August till the 11th of August. Okay, you give subject to senior advocates. I, my, my instruction is that it should be heard as, as early as possible because there are so many universities Madam, where the appointment. Madam, we are sending file to the Honorable Governor, it's his excellency. But we need to be kept pending. That there is a total dislocation of the business of the government. We will get sent. If your lordships can kindly fix a date Miller, prior to third. Yeah, those um, vice chancellor matter we have disposed of. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a different matter. That's all, to, all, all together. Ideally, all together ideally in teeth of the. Who are in twist concern? Ideally, in teeth of the reliefs. Concern, my lord, whether that was a substantive appointment or not. No, no, anyway, anyway. Ideally. No, no, only with regard to the bill. All right, you get in section letters. Bill, bill sent by the government. Covid, Covid. Lord, you are fixing it. Okay. He says, 
and like there is a top seat that be throughout the west bengal man the lots of kind first let us finish the election matter get the election abhi tebe ne baksha full
Appellate side daily list fixed at 2 p.m. Serial number one under the heading for judgment. Repetition dismissed. Yes. Yes. Five is mentioned in the morning. Yeah. <clears throat> this matter will come. <clears throat> Sixth July, Thursday, it will come. Thursday. Oh, no, regular division day, which one day it will come. Wednesday it can come. Wednesday. Yeah, I have got some problem. I have. Thursday. Thursday is okay. Thursday. Thursday. But Thursday, I believe your lordships have fixed my lord, all the whole violence and other related. <laughs> <I'll get laughs> you are not leaving us, sir. No, I, I know that, my lord. I, In I, today also, there is. Uh, I, I, I saw my lord. The file is so big. I stepped back deliberately because, my lord, at times, my lord, I have nothing to say. And, my lord, when I have something to say, <laughs> it's best said, my lord, one. Once mallet all together. Well, then so mallet let it appear on Thursday. We will see. Yes. Very well. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. <clears throat> By order dated 6 7 2023, the regular bench had directed this matter to be listed before this bench. The learned advocates on either side submitted that uh, since the arguments are yet to commence in the appeal, they jointly pray that the matter may be heard by the regular bench as there may be difficulty in constituting this special bench to hear this matter alone. Considering the request made on a, either side, come on. Uh, the, man, the the appeal stands released from the what do you say released from this court huh? from this court to be listed before the regular bench. Come on, the uh, the papers be placed before the honourable chief justice for necessary orders. Deep judgment. So <clears throat> we have the assignment. You list it on Thursday. Wednesday, it's not possible. Well, there is some difficulty. That's why I'm requesting. Whole day difficulty. Uh, actually, no. well, I am not in difficulty. No, I have I, before the my lord in the morning. I only indicated. If you get stuck in that, you won't even find a place to sit. Uh, Aren't even enter. Well, let it appear on Thursday. We'll see when we'll come back well, as soon as possible. Well, uh, or else, my lord, may I request your lordship to kindly, my lord, fix it on Friday if that's in Friday. They say nobody will come. Yes, my lord, twenty first. On Friday, if you are agreeable, we can have virtual hearing. 
Well, we can do that, madam. Hmm? Well, we, we can do that. There is no difficulty. Next Friday is uh, uh, tax day. Tax matters. Sir, kindly keep it on Thursday, madam. We'll see, madam. Kindly keep it because we also wanted to okay. finish it. After I assign it, we'll list it on Thursday. First, deep job. If good mallet could have any precedence in the list, I don't know. Well, I leave it to you, Lord. No, we, we want to do some matter. No, no, I, I know that, mallet. But uh, this particular contractor has been with you for quite a long number of years. Yes. Huh? But, mallet, this contractor cannot do something which, in our humble submission, will destroy the entire family. Can, can this dispute not be arbitrated? Or mediation can uh, well, that, 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 uh, in the process, well, what they are doing is well, it will go to arbitration or mediation. In the process, well, they are cancelling my orders. No, no, well, no, no, my lord, this is not right. Not this is this is not right, my lord. Today well, well, let's, 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 let's have it before, uh, before, before lord. Uh, no, right. we will submit whatever is possible. I am we well, from the Union of India, my lord, is not well, in the humble submission. The, the, the person is almost already out of business. Well, it's well, not that creditors, my lord, are paying for his this is not an affidavit. So I will request my learned friend, who is a very senior member of the bar, Hello. not to submit anything from the bar. I am, is not on, on I am impressing on the urgency, my lord. Urgency, no, I am also urgency. Not urgency. Not urgency. My lord, if your lordship kindly keeps it on Thursday, my lord, I this don't think... This is equipment, etc. you said. Huh. And uh, initially, whatever they made a submission, they yes. made a representation based on that contract was awarded. Now you say, no, no, no. It should have been eight equipments, twelve equipments. No, no, I don't say so. I will come back. I, I don't say so. When they made the application, they have given us certain parameters. Yes. On the basis of that parameters, I have accepted it. All right. Now, Wait now, me. now, Malad, they say small, one small query. Yes, sir. So they have let us say they had to provide uh, ten items. Mm -hmm. Forget about this contract. They have to provide ten items. They said yes, we are providing ten items. But in the process of the contract being implemented, you find find only eight equipments in place. Is the situation irredeemable or can it be redeemed? Malad, in may, our I, may I just take Malad. one minute? I'll just Malad, take only one, minute. <laughs> only one minute. Malad, only one equipment approved at all levels by the RDSO. After that, supplied Malad, 69 times. Inspected on Malad specification 69 times. Approved, passed, and accepted 69 times. Letters of commendation written by the railway saying that you have a very good supplier, your product is excellent. Then, my lord, the difficulty arises because, my lord, the difference in the price of my product as an original equipment supplier and my, my lord, the persons who, from whom my learned friends are buying through, my lord, intermediaries, my lord, causes, my lord, a loss of, my lord, 1100 crores to the railways every year. So, my lord, naturally, my lord, my product will have to be shunned. Well, he, otherwise, my lord, pockets are my lord not suitably greased. Uh, I am very now, sorry lord, today. To Sixty-nine times the same process followed, the same equipment accepted, my lord. After my lord, all inspections, all clarifications. Now suddenly, my lord, they are coming up with this defect, that defect. My lord, this is my lord what we came up against, my lord, before this honourable court. This court, my lord, heard the matter extensively, called for reports, called for affidavits, considered all materials on record. Considered clauses of the contract, considered RDS specifications, general specifications, said that no, what you're doing is wrong. Inspect it on the basis that you had applied earlier and pass the goods. Now, my the railways are ready I'll to take it. Let us hear it on Thursday. Deep flow. Great, great. Deep flow.
take a look. Mm -hmm. Original site daily list item number one. My application, your lordship, there is a delay of 27 days, my lord. Surprising. It's very surprising, my lord. <laughs> Normally it's 1127. Yes, or 1227. Respondent served. Yes, my lord. Evidence service. Okay. 263 order. Yes, my lord. But I propose the facts of the case is a little different. But the dates are very relevant in this case, my lord. The question of law at page 9. And the tribunal's order starts from page, page 44. But may I? Huh? With the service. Why not? Track record. Omit Sharma Kuru Chata. So it's a second. Uh, yes, second in it's my lord. Return. See, once the 263 direction is to consider a particular issue. Yes, my he lord. He can't go behind that. No, no, he cannot traverse beyond that. Yeah. But my lord, first there was an assessment order passed under section 143.3. Mm -hmm. Then subsequently, revisionary proceedings initi initiated against um, the SSC under section 263. Mm. 263, after the 263 order was passed, then uh, again the 263, 143 order was given, given effect to that 263, your lordship. Now this 263 was on two issues with mm -hmm. regard to the uh, transaction genuineness of the transaction and the interest from the uh, loans my lord mm. then subsequently after giving effect to that the P uh, pcit has found no that there was something wrong again so he has asked that it should be set aside and you have to there was a uh, direction for a de novo assessment of the proceeding your lordship now against that order the sse has um, uh, no, where is the first 263 yes, order? Yes, my lord. The first 263 order is at page 16, my lord. So once one issue is interest-free advances. Yes, my lord. But if your lordship kindly takes up the second two sixty-three order. No, no. Plus, please come. To yes, my lord. Page, page sixteen. Page seventeen. Page seventeen. Uh, first line: No interest income has been shown to the PNL account. Yes, my lord. And in the computation of total income on account of the above advances to parties, it is therefore clear that advances represent interest-free advances. While the SSE claims huge interest expenses on so and so, EU should have therefore examined as to whether any interest bearing funds have been advanced to these parties for the purpose of other than business purposes and as to whether any part of the expenditure claimed on account of interest was required to be disallowed. Clearly failed to do so. Therefore considered erroneous. So this was the only issue by which it was sent back. Yes, my lord. And Please. then it has given effect to that uh, 263 order, your lordship. Again, 143, 263, uh, 143 order was passed. Page 22. No, no, one, one, one second. No, we come to page 21, para 13, third line. The order on the above specific two issues, they say, what are, what is the other issue? The two issues are mainly actually 
um, it was uh, it will also appear from the tribunal's order oh, that is not yes, verification yes. of the genuineness of the brokerage expenditure incurred on the new loans and renewal of loans. And the second issue is the interest of free advances given by the SSC. These are the two issues, my lord. Where, where do you get it? Tribunal's order, page 45, my lord. Paragraph 4. Yes. Now, Asing officer has done something and he passed an order. And where is the show cost note? Yes. yes. Page 26. Yes, my lord. So he accepts that portion of the order. Yes, but accepts, but your officer kindly comes to page 40. There is a proper clarification required from the assessing officer with regard to an understatement of income, my lord. If your officer kindly comes to page 40, paragraph 5, that is the finding of the um, uh, PCIT, my lord. May I be permitted to place it? I have considered the facts of the case and the submission of the SSC in the order 263. It was stated that the genuineness of the brokerage expenditure incurred on new loans and the renewal of loans taken for the purpose of the business of the SSC was not verified. In response to a letter dated 31st May, the SSC furnished the details of the persons to whom the brokerages had been paid and the year-wise breakup of the advance given. However, no details of the persons from whom the loans were arranged by the brokers and the source of the advances had been furnished by the SSC. Later on, the department issued letter to the person to whom the brokerages were claimed to have been paid by the SSC. In compliance replies, replies were received from some parties who had submitted that they had arranged loans. The parties had also submitted bill of brokerage of fund arrangement. On scrutiny of party-wise brokerage bill details as available in the assessment records for the fund arrangement by the brokers to the SSC and the details of the unsecured loan submitted by the SSC during the financial year 13-14, there was a difference of the loan amount received during the period for rupees 2 crores 39 lakhs, which was required to be treated as unexplained cash credit and added back to the total income. Now, this is the relevant portion, your Lordship. On further scrutiny of the assessment record, it came to notice that while computing the SS income in the order to 63-143-3 of the Act dated 23rd of December 2019, erroneously added 3,36,122 for brokerage and commission was instead of correct amount of 3,63,122. The, this resulted in understatement of income of rupees 27,000. In response to Shoko's notice, the SSC complied in his submission dated of 2nd March 2022. The SSC stated that the issue involved for the initiation of 263 are the same issues which was involved in the order under section 263 dated 20th of March. Therefore, a letter dated 9th of March issued to the jurisdictional AO for the clarification. In his reply, the AO stated that the nature of the objection are different. After going through the order under section 263 dated 20th of March, it was found that the principal CIT observed that the expenditure on account of Brokerage in respect of the new loans was not properly verified by the then AO, hence gave direction to the AO to examine the nature of the expenditure and also the purpose of such expenditure but, to assess. Uh, suppose if it is not a 263 matter, you could not have filed the appeal. The tax was 5 lakhs 47 uh, Yes, but your lordship, they have taken a limitation point on this ground that whether, because if your lordship kindly takes the um, uh, question of law, I'm mainly on that issue, my lord. What limitation? That is, they are saying that uh, 263 2, that is within two years from the last financial year. Now, if we reckon, because they are reckoning to the earlier assessment order, but yes. we are saying that there is a doctrine of merger which comes into play. No, no, and there, uh, this, the no, sir, subsequent 263 year. order, uh, the 263 143 order will it will start from that particular order, order, my lord. This argument is accepted. Will you accept a revised return now? No. Because uh, revised return and oh, now. How you will accept? Oh, but this is the that. only issue because of reckoning the date of the assessment order to be from 27, that 23rd. 27,000 rupees. He has granted him some relief. And you are filing this. Um, please come. We have. Uh, 
the, this appeal filed by the revenue under section 260 cap clear of the income tax act 1961 within bracket the act is directed against the order dated 21st december 2022 passed by the income tax appellate tribunal b bench kolkata within bracket tribunal in ita number 278/kl/2022 for the assessment year 201415 the, uh, as, uh, the revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration Question number two. Okay, no. two. Three. Four. That's all. We have heard uh, Ms. Smita Das Te, Leonard Adu, the senior standing counsel for the appellant revenue. There is a delay of 27 days in filing the appeal. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the petition and we find sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal within the period of limitation. Accordingly, application is allowed. Delay in filing the appeal is condoned. The short, next part. The short issue which falls for consideration is whether the assumption of jurisdiction by the Commission of, <clears throat> by the Principal Commission of Income Tax, comma Kolkata 1, under Section 263 of the Act, was just and proper, more so when the, the exercise of jurisdiction under the said provision was done for the second time. The learned tribunal noted that, that uh, initially the PCIT had exercised its power under section 263 uh, of the Act on two grounds, namely alleged non-verification of genuineness of the broker expenditure incurred on new loans and renewal of loans taken for the purpose of business and B, interest free advances given by the SEC. Pursuant to the orders passed under section 263, the assessing officer took up the matter for consideration and completed the assessment under section 143 within bracket 3 of the Act by order dated 23-12-2019, uh, determining the total income at rupees 17,70,850 and raising the total demand uh, of rupees 5,47,192. Thereafter, once again, the, uh, the um, PCIT Exercise power under section 263 of the Act and issue show cause notice dated 21st February 2022. The notice state in the notice after setting out the reasons assigned by the assessing officer while completing the assessment by the order dated 23-12-2019, the PCAT would state that on further scrutiny of the assessment records. It came to the notice that while computing assessed income in the order under section 143 within bracket 3, read with section 263 of the Act, dated 23-12-2019, the assessing officer had erroneously added rupees 3,36,122 for brokerage and commission works instead of the correct amount of rupees 3,63,122 which has resulted in under assessment of income of rupees 27,000. This was the reason for once again exercising power under section 263 of the Act. The assessee submitted the reply to the show cost notice and raised the question of limitation, stating that in terms of, in terms of subsection 2 of section 263, uh, The power could not have been exercised beyond the period of limitation prescribed therein. Further, the SSC contended that the that 
pursuant to the orders passed by the PCIT on the earlier occasion, giving specific directions to the assigning officer, comma, he would have very limited power to examine the issues in the proceedings which have been remanded back to the assigning officer for consideration oh. and does not give, does not empower the assigning officer to make a, other additions. Several decisions are also placed, um, were relied upon by the um, SSC. Though the tribunal also, tri tribunal accepted the plea raised by the SSC as regards the aspect re uh, relating to the limitation, comma, it examined the merits of the matter and has recorded a factual finding that, that uh, the issue on which the PCIT proposed the revision of the order framed under section 143 within bracket 3, read with section 263 of the Act, dated 23-12-2019, comma, comma, issue which was directed by the PCIT in the order under section 263 uh, of the Act, dated 23-3-2022, was not the subject matter of revision revisionary proceedings in the first round. Therefore, the learned tribunal came to the conclusion that the period of limitation has to run from the date of assessment as framed under section 143 within bracket 3, dated 26-12-2016, that is from the end of the financial year, uh, uh, comma, 31-3-2017. Therefore, uh, 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 therefore, it held that uh, the exercise of jurisdiction under Section 263 of the Act is hopelessly barred by limitation. The Learned Tribunal also um, took note of the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in CIT versus Arubada, A-R-B-U-D-A Mills, 1998 231 ITR 50 within bracket SC, wherein it was held that where jurisdiction under section 263 within bracket 1 of the Act is sought to be exercised with reference to an issue which is covered by the original order of assessment under section 143 within bracket 3 of the Act, which does not form the subject matter of the reassessment, the limitation must necessarily begin to run from the date of the order passed under section 143 within bracket 3 of the Act. Uh, reference was also was ma made to the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court uh, in the case of where is this Alayendra finance? Page 50, my lord. Page 50. Ah, in the case of CIT versus Alayendra Finance Limited, 2007-293 IPR, page 1 within bracket SC. Thus, we find that the order passed by the learned tribunal uh, had been passed taking note of the correct legal position and referring to the relevant decisions and the said order does not call for any interference. Accordingly, the appeal is dismissed and the substantial questions of law are answered against the revenue. Thank you. Next. Item number two. Yeah. Respondent, sir. Not insufficient address. Well, no delay, but insufficient address.
this uh, we have done this earlier no Herbie yes we are getting this matter uh, malad is please to pass uh, similar order in page 22 sorry Page twenty two is something. Page twenty two of this tape tape edition. Tape edition. Page twenty two. One four. Oh, that is the tribunal's decision. No, no, brother, I'm wrong. Holding wrong. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Two people. Okay. This there is a delay of one ninety four days. Yes, brother, one ninety four. The JP Financial Services Private Limited. My lord, we have served. You know, they have received. But this um, Herbicure Healthcare, we are dealt with this man. No, my lord, no, not dealt with. My lord, here is this case that my lord, the the my lord donation given to the my lord the uh, HBRF my lord. Uh, Arbicur Healthcare Bio Herbals Research Foundation. Thereafter, Milad, the certificate has been Milad, withdrawn Milad, on the Milad, issue that Milad, they have given the bogus Milad, donation entries. Milad, kindly come to Milad, Milad, the tribunal relied on some Milad, tribunal, tribunal relied. We are on the decision of the earlier tribunal, but here is the case is that I find that you know, after going to here, you know, the uh, certificate has not been cancelled. The tribunal relied the judgment here. The certificate has not been cancelled. Here, you know, the certificate has been cancelled. You will know, also kindly see the you know, assessment order, page 13. But the tribunal says there is no change in facts. No change in fact, you know, to the effect that you know, donation given to the you know, uh, identity, you know, but here, Milot, the tribunal did not take up the note that the certificate has been cancelled, Milot, with effect from Milot, uh, 1 for 2007. You'll also kindly see page 13 of the assessment order. In view of the finding, approval earlier accorded to the Harbicure Health Bioherbal Research Foundation, Kolkata, and notification number such and such was rescind with respective effect from such and such, such and such. Not only the Lord should kindly, if you Lord should kindly come to page 24 of the Mallard CIT appeals order. Mallard, here is a specific Mallard abatement that the Mallard entry operation given. Oh, no, this was a case of disallowance of expenditure. Donation, donation. Uh, whatever it is, uh, donation. In the other case also, it's the same, same was the fact. But fact but is same, but here means the Mallard the this fact that the, the certificates had been cancelled from Millard in this case of the SSE, Millard, that fact also or not same Millard. But even before the tribunal, nobody appeared for the SSC. Yes, nobody appeared from the SSC. Now your notice has been served? Yes, Millard. It's notice served. We'll condone the delay today. Served or left without intimation? No, sub Milad. This one, sir. Yes. The other matter. We have heard Mr. Soman Bhattacharji, Leonard, senior study counsel for the Apple and Revenue. Though the respondent has been served and affidavit of service has been filed, none appears for the respondent. There is a delay of 194 days in filing the appeal. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the petition and we find sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal. Within the period of limitation. Therefore, the application is allowed and delay in filing the appeal is controlled. List the appeal for admission. So, on, so. item number three. How many days? The delay of 724 days, Lord. Lord, uh, the, well, we have sent the service is not complete because the track record is now nothing showing and nothing. Lord. Lord, should we kindly adjourn it for one week, Lord? Who, anybody is 724 days. AK Tibirwala FCA Amit Agarwal.
So for a question is concerned, what should we kindly see on page number two? Lot there is disallowance. Lot what should we kindly see? Lot there are the tribunals are confirm the order of CIT appeal by deleting lot some of rupees four crore eighty one lakhs on account of lot the liability shown in the audit report and. There was a SSC and there was a, a, which was submitted by the DVC. But I find uh, some of the questions are infactual. No, actually, the yes, amount yes. which was paid yes, yes. was not penalty. Yes, yes, yes. Suppose there, there is, is a some... cutoff date. Yes. He will say that you have to pay 10% more than that. Yes. That's why they referred to this Prakash Cotton Mill. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> The grounds are may, um, lot, uh, uh, already been dealt with. Uh, before that, you say, sir, this appeal filed by the revenue under Section 260 capital of the Income Tax Act 1961 within bracket the Act is directed against the order dated January 5th, 2021, passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal A Bench Kolkata within bracket tribunal in ITA numbers 1156 KOL 2019 for the assessment year 2013-14. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. One, A, B, C, sir, D, not required. We have heard Mr. Prithu Doriel and a senior standing counsel for the revenue. There is a delay of 724 days in filing the appeal. Though the reasons given are not fully convincing, come on, being conscious of the fact that this appeal is in, has been filed under Section 260, cap clear of the Income Tax Act, we are required to examine as to whether any substantial question of law arises for consideration. Therefore, we exercise discretion and condone the delay in filing the appeal. As could be seen from the order passed by the tribunal, there were four grounds. The first of which is with regard to the deletion of disallowance of rupees 5, 95, 541, as was done by the Commission of Income Tax within bracket appeals, within bracket CITA. The Commission, the CITA took note of the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in Prakash Cotton Mills Private Limited versus CIT Central Bombay. This is not there. Central Bombay, wherein it was held that, notwithstanding the nomenclature, it is necessary to find whether penalty paid is compensatory or penal in nature. The CITA found, the CITA on facts found that the payments made by the SSC were not penalty, but it was pursuant to an agreement between the SSC and the Damodar Valley Corporation on account of late payment of surcharge of electricity charges. With this reasoning, the CITA dis uh, I mean, uh, deleted the disallowance, which, uh, which, was, which factual finding was affirmed by the learned tribunal. Therefore, we find no substantial question of law arising on this issue. The second issue is with regard to deletion of addition of a piece. 481-56-985, made on account of difference of liability shown in audit report of the SSC and the data submitted by DVC. The tribunal have considered the correctness of the order passed by the CATA and pointed out that, that the factual findings recorded by the CATA could not be controverted by the department, nor any material was placed to contradict the set findings. Therefore, we find this issue is also fully factual and no question of law, substantial question of law arises for consideration. The third issue is with regard to deletion of an addition of rupees 83, 40, 692. The CATA on recon uh, uh, reconciled the difference and granted relief, which was approved by the learned tribunal. Therefore, on this issue also, no substantial question of law can arise for consideration. The last issue is with regard to admission of additional evidence by the CITA. The tribunal on facts found that there is no admission of additional evidence 
by the CITA. And all the papers of comma reconciliation statements, etc., which were considered by the CITA were before the assigning officer. And this was and this was factually established by the SSC before the learned tribunal. Thus, he, here also, uh, here, uh, the, thus on this issue also, no substantial question of law arises for consideration. For the above reason, the appeal fails is dismissed. Grateful, Archip. Yes, sir. Recall application item number four. Did I make the appeal one last one? Yes. Right. I am for the petition of the government of West Bengal undertaking. Right. Uh, 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 does, it, does it put you on a higher pedestal? No, Malad, only thing, Malad, no, there was no notice Malad, before Malad, the, the hearing was the taken. The matter was pending, running in the list. Uh, Malad, as, per the, as per the rules, Malad, they should have served the paper books also. Ah, all right, all right. Malad, that was also not so done. You take it to Supreme Court. You take Malad, it to Malad, take, kindly take these rules, Malad, and the Malad, uh, uh, kindly, Malad, otherwise, we, Malad, we cannot recall the order. Malad, at, under we order 41, it. rule 21, I can ask for e-hearing because of the rules, Malad, framed for these appeals. Malad, kindly take once the rules. Nothing doing. Well, kindly take the rules, Malat. Uh, the original side rules, Malat. We have been hearing the matter day on and day after. Malat, everybody this was, served. was served. Malat, everybody was served. It was not served, Malat. No, and no, there no, was, there no, are, so can, kindly take the your lordship's order, Malat. Uh, I, I don't take me. I mean, Malat, it's not recorded that even it was served. I don't require you. Ask your client. Malat, uh, we uh, have uh, taken inspections, Malat. There was no notice. Malat, uh... IA1, no if I may duly submit. Malad, we have Malad, IA1 of 2007 was disposed of in the year 2007 seven. instantly, and the matter run in the warning list of Millards for quite some time. Long time. And due to the server problem, we could not generate other information and we can't update Millards. Malad, no and notice. Service, Malad. Millard can consider the contentions. What contention the, no, the IA, party has taken? What was that IA which was dismissed? 1 of 2007. 2007. What was the prayer in that IA for stay? And they were served in that? No. Of course. No, no. 2007, yeah. Millard, we can't uh, yeah. update Millard. The, it's server. It is on Millard server. Uh, and they have not disputed the fact. You are and, not a cooperative organization, sir. You are a middleman. And uh, Milod, I can demonstrate, my lord. I can demonstrate, my lord. And uh, the lack uh, of satisfied. Milod, the lack of knowledge they have not come across on oath, my lord. My lord kindly take. They have not profession. come across on oath uh, the lack lord, of knowledge. Uh, rule specifically made for this, my lord, uh, uh, appeals, my lord, page. It starts from page four zero one. Rule 1 is there, Malad. Kindly take rules. First is rule 6. The admission of appeal and then rule 7. Malad, page 403 of the same book. Sir, appeal was admitted. Yes, Malad. Now, Malad, I had a question. Malad, 35G4 gives me the power. Malad, 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 and uh, uh, scope, Malad, to argue that there was no substantial questions of law framed. In fact, you lost Can you see the substantial questions of law? The order of tribunal is why it is, not, it is bad in law. There cannot be a substantial questions of law. But I had the power, given the Malad scope under 35G4, Malad to argue at the time of hearing. All right. Well, Malad, they were covered be by Milord's earlier judgment. Maybe Malad. This is not I the main judgment. They have to look in the main which judgment. Is the which is the rule? Malad, kindly rule 7. Preparation of paper book after the appeal is admitted and the statement of case is received. As the case, maybe the appellant, appellant shall prepare the paper books within chapter. Malad, uh, 403 of that page, of that book, the same book I am holding, that is why, Malad, page 403. Hmm. The appeal was admitted in the year 2007. Yes, Malad, that is why, Malad, I am referring and to. Malad, page, rule 7, after the appeal is admitted or the statement of case is received, as the case may be, the appellant applicant shall prepare paper books within three months and shall file two copies thereof. For the use of division bench in case the matter is referred to a larger vendor, then can kindly skip Malad 7.3. In the event paper book is not filed, Malad within three months from the date of admission of the appeal or received the statement, 
may be with the leave of the court the respondents may be prepare and deliver such paper books or he may apply upon notice to the party has urged and uh, was preferred or reference has been made have the appeal reference dismissed for want of prosecutions uh, where no such application is made the case shall be set down in the next preliminary list of revenue appeals mallard uh, reference and shall be disposed then mallard rule 9 mallard page 405 the party at whose instance the appeal has been filed or reference has been made shall after filing of the paper books and printed copies of further if any required to be filed with forthwith and give notice thereof to the respondent and shall along with such notice serve him with four copies of the paper books but we have taken inspections of the documents no such service is available but in the record next time when you argue any other matter and you seek for dispensing with the paper book then we'll Take note of Malad, that. Is, that is the that is the rules, Malad. I can, Malad. I can, Malad. <laughs> we, we can also speak. Sa rules. Certainly, with, no Malad, If it is dispensed with, no, no problem. problem, Malad. It was not dispensed with, and it is a. It's a. I would say, Malad, if you is permitted, it's a mandatory provision. Malad, now this notice they had to show, Malad. There was service of notice. Malad, then kindly take Malad rule twelve. Page. 406. Notice of the day fixed for the hearing of the appeal or reference shall be given by the register to all parties. Warning. It was put on warning. List. How did warning you come list. to know about this order now? Now the recovery because notice. of the recovery notice page mallard. I have annexed mallard. The 30. recovery notice on 23rd June and it was served on mallard page 13. Well, they have Only after this they recovery have notice. Caveat as well, my lord, after they uh, obtained an order from uh, the, the tribunal. tribunal. There was no caveat that was filed by them, my lord. Yeah, no, that is my lord, regarding my pre-admission stage. My lord, now after the post-admission. How, how many days did going into everything. Yeah. My lord, from the notice, there was no delay. No, no, no. My lord, page 13. My lord, kindly come to page 13 of my application. This from my the order. Date of the order. Date of the order is of my lord. The order is. 24th February. 24th February. 24th February 2023. First notice we received, my lord, that is 23rd June 2023. And I have stated, it was served upon me on No, no, you uh, you attached their property. 26 June. You 26 it. June, it, it was served. You attach. It was served on You attached the, uh, the uh, vehicles of uh, the entire car. Um, car this, what is it? Uh, um, Handloom Weavers Cooperative Society vehicles, table chairs, everything you attach. Malad, that is the Malad, that is the notice we received. The 2007 notice was served on all of them. Everybody had earlier appeared before the tribunal. The uh, when the appeal was entertained, uh, application for interim order was refused, rejected. At that time, people had appeared. Thereafter, the matter was running in the list. We adjourned it several times. Who is appearing? Some state government. Malad, that is right? relating to another notice of Tontu Sri. Malad, no, that, no. that the judgment your lordship had relied on in the in this it's order. The same batch. It's a common judgment of the tribunal, represented by uh, two or but three the, advocates. Malad, there are, know Malad, there are two different. Now the Tontu Sri has gone. Malad, is defunct now. It is not in existence. Only two credit goes to you. No, no. You may make all your organizations defunct. You plunder I'm, everything. I'm not the state government. I'm an apex society. Ah, yes, yes. You, are, you are a middleman. We have rented a finding. You are a middleman. I can show Malad. It's a no, no question of ah, yes, Malad yes. acting as middleman. Okay, you take the order on appeal. This application has been filed. To Malad, kindly, the, kindly, another rules, Malad, order. Uh, yes, yes, we have heard Malad, uh, The appeal rules. Uh, uh, the appeal the rules. delay in filing this application for recalling. And recall the uh, the judgment and order dated before tribunal who had the appeal February 2023, passed in uh, Sex R 3 of 2007, and to restore the appeal. Uh, we have elaborately heard the learned advocates for the parties. Firstly, the limitation needs to be computed from the date on which the uh, judgment and order dated 24th February 2023 uh, was that received part... by the appellant and not from the date on which the uh, recovery notice was issued by the department dated 22-6-2023. In any event, the judgment has been passed placing reliance on an earlier order uh, in Sex 4 of 2007 dated 9-9-2022 which was also which was filed 
by the department against a common order passed by the learned tribunal. The learned uh, standing counsel for the uh, respondent de department pointed out that when the appeal was entertained in the year 2007, an application for interim relief was sought for, which was uh, dismissed after notice to the respondent, I mean, uh, uh, after notice to the SSE. It is thereafter the matter was pending before this court and subsequently listed in the warning list and thereafter the daily list. And since none appeared, the court considered the matter on merits and has rendered a finding. The learned advocate uh, appearing for the appellant would strenuously contain the, that, uh, that in terms of the rules of the High Court at Calcutta, come on, original side 1914, more particularly with regard to rule number seven, come on, uh, uh, this rule is uh, Malad, specific rules, Malad, uh, uh, mentioned uh, in there, Malad. Is, there is a, a mandatory condition that after the appeal is admitted or statement of case is received, as the case may be, the appellant slash applicant shall prepare the paper book within three months and shall file two copies thereof for the use of the division bench. It is further submitted that in terms of rule 7.3, in the event the paper book is not filed within a period of three months, from the date of admission of the appeal or receipt of the statement of the case, come as the case may be, with the leave of the court, the respondent may prepare and deliver such paper book or he may apply upon notice to the party at whose instance the appeal was preferred or reference was made to have the appeal or reference dismissed for want of prosecution or for such other order or orders. Further, the rule states that where uh, further, it is stated that the rule also states that where no such application is made, <coughs> the case shall be set down in the next preemptory list of the revenue appeals slash references and shall be disposed of by the court as it thinks fit. In our considered view, it will be too late for the uh, applicant to uh, take umbrage under Rule 7. Uh, rule 9, uh, I have also relied uh, Rule 7. Uh, no, no, nine nine by, well by, they yeah. were they were served and the and at the interlocutory stage in the year 2007 itself when the prayer for stay made by the department was refused. Further reference has been made to Rule Nine also, which relates to notice and filing of paper book. Uh, um, from the conduct of the applicant slash respondent, we it is clearly seen that they were not diligent in prosecuting the matter. And uh, they have come out with this, uh, with the, with the, such an application uh, uh, at a, um, uh, at a such a belated stage, uh, without even specifically mentioning uh, as to the exact number of days uh, uh, in filing the application. As prayer A in the application states, comma delay, comma if any, comma in filing the instant application for recalling may be kindly condoned. Um, uh, in the in the light of the above facts, we are not inclined to entertain this application, and the same is dismissed. Sorry, sir. Next. For admission, item number five and six. Malad, only thing, Malad, you also also refer rule twelve because <laughs> one or two grounds you have for SLP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, you will not. Can you Rule 12, I have shown Malad. That is why. Not required, sir. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All rules are there. Well, uh, regarding this uh, 5 and 6, I am praying for uh, not today. Why? Uh, my counsel on legs in other court, my Lord. That's a difficulty. And today is also 3.30. Mm -hmm. So that's why. If you agree, we will sit. I don't want to <laughs> Here, really take burden over my source. <laughs> Matmundar is willing. You are yes, also pilot. He is, it is my appeal and uh, that's why. No, no. Only, only keep it on one uh, witness, Jamalad. Unless because otherwise, if it is not 3.30, I should not. But uh, just only because today is 3.30 is fixed and... Uh, All right. At raised. the request of the learned uh, advocate for the appellant, list next Wednesday. Same position. Okay. Item number seven. May it please, ma'am. Hmm. In this matter, I'm led by Mr. Khetan. Hmm. He's on his legs in court number nine. So let it remain. Or... Malo, let, it... Malo. let it remain in the list. Call Malo. next one. Item number eight. 
I am doing on behalf of the respondent, SSC respondent. Where is Mr. Amit Sharma? Mr. Rai is. Ah, Mr. Rai is up here. What is this 148? No, my lord. Uh, yes, my lord. 148 is there, my lord. But the honorable single judge, my lord, my lord, caused the entire proceeding, my lord, saying that this cannot be continued against a dead person. Lord, uh, lord, it was not taken note of that, lord, at the time when the 148 notice was issued, yeah, the yes, original SEC was alive. Therefore, lord, the proceedings were initiated, my lord, against the right person, lord, and against a person who was alive. Milord, in terms of Milord, the provisions of Milord, the income tax. So act. this was the case which went to Supreme Court. Thereafter, uh, notices were set aside. I mean, to be treated as notices under one forty. Yes, yes, related yes, to Ashish yes, Agrawal matter. Yes, 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 it is that only. No, Milord, even after Milord one forty eight A D, Milord, when the second time one forty eight notice was issued, then also the SSC was alive. But no, you could have placed that before the. The death certificate you could have shown. But that was there, Milord. We have Milord, shown unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, Milord, at we the time when the matter was moved, Milord, I appeared, I was briefless. Milord, my learned friend submitted, Milord, that uh, the person is dead. But uh, and, Milord, if it is going to be set aside on the ground of limitation, they need to be given an opportunity to file. Yeah, an it's no way, Yolashim, on that moment, that point was taken that he was briefless. This one, he never won See, to go with that, Yolashim. What happened here? We are just challenging the 148 AD. Whatever my learned friend is saying, which is related to section 159, subsection 2, the proceeding can be initiated in the legal years. But who will initiate this proceeding, Your Lordship, within a time? So if we is. have just intimated the all things, that and Your Lordship, not only that, we did not challenge only on this simple ground. The other ground was it's related to the limitation, Your Lordship. This is real so financial year, Your Lordship, 1314. No, no. We will set aside this order, but we will stay the proceedings. Let him file his counter, I mean, uh, affidavit in opposition, the red picture. Yes. You argue all points. Yes, not because the limited point is... Paragraph. Your Lordship, kindly appreciate only one thing, Your Lordship. Then we will stay Lordship, this kindly, order. If we stay this only, order... Only one moment, Your Lordship. In any time, Your Lordship, if this matter goes before the learned sing, single judge, Your Lordship. He will the, allow it once. The, 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 thing is, the thing is that, Your Lordship, even it will question, Your Lordship. Why? I'm just showing, Your Lordship, at, at page 5, Your Lordship. Page 5. 5, Your Lordship. Yes. Par paragraph 8, Your Lordship. Last line, paragraph 8. In response to the said notice, the said SEC through his tax consultant had submitted his response to the assessing officer on 7th June of 2022. When the SEC was live, SEC having the age of 91 could not appear, Your Lordship, through consultant. He has just given this response, Your Lordship. Next paragraph. What, Your Lordship? Your petition has said that thereafter, after taking into consideration. The reply of the respondent, the assessing officer, passed a speaking order under Section 148 AD, Here they are saying that it was a speaking order. They consider that. Now, finally come to page 49. Directly, I'm just going to relevant point. 148 AD order, Yolosh. Hmm. The topmost. The SEC, in spite of having an opportunity in terms of notice under Section 148 AB, has been silent and the silence is very much significant, Your Lordship. He is dead. Silent, Your Lordship. It's, they even did not consider that in my reply also in 148 AD. So, therefore, on that ground, it can go back. On that ground, That's what, Your Lordship, the same order has been passed. They can initiate the proceeding according to law, Your Lordship. It will it'll go back and he will consider your objections. The legal heirs can uh, give additional objections also. He will consider and do your Lordship, at, at the end, Your Lordship, 148 AD, Your Lordship, will be set aside. Only on this ground event. While well, Lenifred appear in very matter on violation of principle, natural justice is always considered. So, Unnecessary, the multiple litigation will go on, Your Lordship. Yes, you if they can, want to proceed, they can proceed against the legal here. Your of decisions, Honorable Supreme Court says that if there is a violation of principles of natural justice, Your Lordship, up to the stage where the violation has occurred, you crash the proceedings. Yolosha. You don't declare the entire proceedings as a nullity. Here it has been declared as a nullity on the ground of limitation. If you want to canvas limitation, we will restore the writ petition. You let him file his affidavit and then you argue the point and succeed. Two options. Either stay of this order 
or the matter goes back to the single bench. Option option uh, 2A. You know, if it's a matter to be set aside, is, 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 sent back to the AO. Three options we have. You know, should, I'm just uh, going with the stay of the operation and they can file the reply here. No, not here. It will go there. All right. This intra court appeal by the department is directed against the order dated 22nd November 2022, by which the learned single bench has quashed the entire reassessment proceedings on the ground of limitation. No, your Lordship, here it's not on the ground of limitation. On the ground that the SSE was, the SSE was the ground ground that the assessment that the reassessment cannot be proceeded against a dead person. It is submitted by Mr. Om Narayan Rail and a senior standing counsel for the upper end that uh, the, no, no, the first notice issued under section 148 of the Act is dated. Uh, uh, Lord, even the last notice also, Lord, she was. No, first one was 30th of yes, July. Yes, yes. 30th yes. July 2022 was served on the SSC and the SSC was alive at the relevant time. Thereafter, when the amendment was made to the statute and section 148 capital A was inserted, fresh notice was served on the SSC who was alive at the relevant point of time. Uh, it is thereafter the uh, reassessment proceedings have been uh, taken up and concluded by uh, sorry, it, was there, uh, there, it is thereafter hmm, the assessing officer passed an order under section 148 capital A within bracket small d of the act dated 28th July 2023 and also issued consequential 20 notice huh? 28 July 28 2020. July sir, 2022 and the consequential notice day issued under section 148 dated 30th July 2022 which you are impugned in the writ petition. In our considered view, if the court had to grant relief on the ground that that uh, the reassessment proceedings cannot proceed against a dead person, facts need to be gone into. More so when the department takes a stand that both notices come issued under section 148 as well as 148 capital A within bracket small b of the act were served on the SSC who was alive at the relevant time. Therefore, we are of the view that the, that the writ petition should be heard on merits after an opportunity is given to the department to file their affidavit in opposition. For the above reason alone, the order impugned in the writ put, uh, order impugned before us is uh, uh, is interfered. In the result, the appeal is allowed. The order passed. Lordship, the I'm just interrupting for a moment, Your Lordship. And the writ petition is restored to the file of the learned single bench, uh, uh, with the direction to the appellant department to file their affidavit in opposition within three weeks from date, uh, and uh, reply if any within two weeks thereafter. Um, roughly, what it will become? Uh, let the um, um, uh, writ petition be listed before the uh, appropriate learned single bench on 23rd August, 2023. Till then, uh, the reassessment proceedings shall remain stay. Yes. You know, should the department did not follow the provisions of the section 159, subsection 2. The, uh, um, um, the, uh, the respondent SSC is at liberty to canvas all points in their, uh, in their red petition and also um, at, uh, are at liberty to file a um, reply to the affidavit in opposition, which has been directed to be filed by the department. Next. Great. Item number nine. Oh, 330. Today, 330. What is this appeal admitted? No, my lord. Appeal has not been admitted, my lord, on the last occasion and directed service, pursuant to which Mr. Rai is appealed. Appearing in the matter, my lord. My lord, this is regarding uh, my lord, 260 appeal, my lord, statutory appeal against the order of the tri tribunal. My lord, the tribunal has just upheld the order of the CIT appeals. So my main grievance lies against the order of the CIT appeal. My lord, in the short facts of the case are that, my lord, there, there are... Uh, let, let it remain in the list next week, we'll take the resolutions. 